Today's A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan podcast is brought to you by a brand new sponsor, MyEternalVitality.com. If, uh, you know, we're all, I feel like a, a lot of our listeners are middle-aged now, you know, uh, 30s, I mean, 40s, 50s. We want to uh, hang on to this, right? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. want to be here for a minute. And, uh, you know, my wife's been talking about, she was actually, before we even met Dr. Powers, my wife was already for almost a year had been investigating getting her hormones tested yeah. because she has uh, she's been exuding symptoms of could be premenopause could be anything really they yeah, don't yeah. know so you got to test your blood yeah Dr. Powers he d- did this really um, it's a very intensive but easy to do at home yeah. hormone test and she found out that her levels are like a uh, cuckoo bananas yeah so Dr. Powers he you know he's like I think if we adjust these certain things not very much we're talking about literally yeah yeah micro Gross. Yep. And he had a, 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 a it looks like a like a little deodorant stick that is from a compound pharmacy, and it's specifically for her. Yep. And hopefully now she's going to get some relief. She got it this morning. We've yeah, never yeah, been yeah. more excited than the dentist household. I mean, if your hormones are off, it could cause weight gain. I know this fatigue. is serious stuff. Yeah, I'm no, just saying, it is serious stuff. And the ladies and the side chicks, you know what we're talking about. I mean, yeah, my yeah. wife has said it's oh, come up in there before. No, I mean, women have been suffering with this for years. Your hormones well, get off. Do too. You start gaining weight. Yeah, and for uh, dudes, I know I saw Dr. Powers and the process is great and just getting checked and seeing what your levels are um, I just I, did mine too, kind yeah. of go along, support Andrea. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to see where I'm at, but it was she was in dire need of, of getting some relief and, and getting some help here because um, let's let's let me give you the symptoms: working out all the time and eating the best of anybody in our family, but still gaining weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How has that happened? She's running, yeah. uh, you know, it's, six seven miles a day, still gaining weight, doing cardio like a mad woman, and still gaining. Yeah. How has yeah. that happened? Yeah, get your biology, your levels to a healthy level, and that's yeah. all the, the doctor Powers talks about is like feeling better getting them to a healthy level no, no. because this isn't having, like he even said to us this isn't like juice said you know gorilla stuff no, this, no, is, no, no. this is yeah. dialing it in so you are leveled out and you're living your best life yeah and for all our male listeners if you have low testosterone you could have all these symptoms that you didn't even know you know fatigue low libido uh you know uh, weight gain uh, you depression it, it causes yeah. a lot of stuff but, you can do the research i mean and andrea talk about research she's she's uh, got a no yeah. with all of her symptoms right by her yeah. bed and she writes down everything but yeah you can you can go to eternal vitality it's my eternal and uh you can get 20 percent off yeah it bioidentical hormone replacement therapy medical guided weight loss peptide therapy body sculpting he does a lot of different services and uh more importantly he's just here to help our listeners feel yep. better if you need it free consultation talk to him is dr robert powers at my eternal vitality.com live from the injured on the go just call mo studio it's a blast it's orlando's own tom and dan hello this is your mediocre time with tom and dan program we hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke heavy, and just right. Thanks. to the Friday free show of a mediocre time. It is another a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Seth is on his way here. Um, hmm. he what, are they riding he, a bike? What's he doing? He said they he walk? an announcement, and also he texted me yesterday. We got some wire up his nose, and he's oh, like, he's got the dune. Oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah, went yeah. full dune. He's got the he's got a wire up his nose. <laughs> he's got some catheter. Some what, nose like her, catheter. Is he going to come in here wearing a nose catheter? I don't know. Is I, he sick? No, I don't want him in here if he's sick. He's it's his hypochondria. He said he's getting tested for uh, acid reflux or something. 
Um, so I'm like, oh my god. You know, I bet tested for acid. Doesn't everybody have? I mean, he's 50 years old. You have acid reflux. That's what you get. I wonder if you're a doctor, do you want to get the hypochondriac? Because it's just unlimited money, right? Mm. He just keeps coming in. Not and for paying. me. Not for me. What? Well, I, I'll keep, uh, like, I don't go as much as I used to. I've settled into just annoying you and my wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you've gotten better, but Seth's still going to the doctor. I have all gotten time. better. Yeah. I'll get, Pat, I'm going to give myself some flowers here. <laughs> I have gotten better. Uh, I think, what if Seth has made me better? Because I see what he's become, and I'm like, I can't become that. And what if, like a magnet, I see P? How do those work? He's <laughs> repelling me, right? He's <laughs> repelling me and pushing me away from hypochondria because I see the most fit person that I know in my life. Like, yeah, yeah. honestly. Who eats I don't, the best. Who eats the best. The, most, looks, the, the healthiest person The healthiest person, person who, like, when I look at his body, he's come walking in the door. He looks amazing, right? Yeah. And then, like, I see that, but then I see the way he acts, and I'm like, well, if you're just going to be yeah. normal, you can't act like that. He is goes, the door locked? Is he like? Hey, is he? Uh, I don't know. Oh, Somebody's up at the door. I think so. Is he locked out? Oh God! Oh. You locked me out. You locked him out. Is he coming in? No, no, no I. He's talking to someone. Oh, on was he on the phone with his doctor? <laughs> I'm like on speakerphone. What is he? What are you Latino? Turn off the speakerphone. <laughs> You're not allowed to do that. Yeah, we're on the show right now. The Latinos they walk through the publics on the speakerphone. What is that? Do our Latino <laughs> listeners do that? Well, um, they, why did we get rid of the Bluetooth? It used to be Latino Bluetooth in here. Now it's blue. Now they're just like no Bluetooth, jiggle, no Bluetooth. <laughs> now it's just straight up, just turn it on, put it in your back pocket, <laughs> walk through public. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn your mic on. What's up, buddy? How are you, oh, ladies and sorry. gentlemen, on the couch? <laughs> Uh, it looks like he fell out of a 1960s time machine. It is, <laughs> I love that shirt. It is our good friend, Seth Pepperoni Petrozelli. I've, I've really been into these knitted collared shirts. You look lately. good. Yeah, it looks I nice. Got, I got this one, and then I was like, Once I, upon a time in Hollywood, feel, right? The feel, it feels really good. So then I just went on a, a spree, and I like went back to the mall, and I was like, how many of these do you have? <laughs> and I bought like three or Give four. Give me <laughs> all of your old man shirts. Yeah, yeah. It was like really, it's really comfortable. It like sits down. Are you becoming an old Italian man? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Do you still I, wear your I didn't hats? wear the cap <laughs> on purpose because it would be too much with this outfit. Because you knew yeah. I'd give you shit about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, and it looks good, though. You look good. Oh, thank you. Okay. That looks nice. Yeah, thank the, you. the kid was the last straw. Now you are officially yeah. the most boring man alive. And that's what happened. It's a Charlie Brown type shirt. It is. I like it. But it's so comfy. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like so, it. Uh, I, I have a tangent <laughs> about uh, being boring and being fit, uh, but before we talk about that... Welcome uh, to the show. Good to see you, buddy. You. Our BDM-only party is yeah. tomorrow. Sorry, I was interrupting the... the we got to get work. Uh, get to work. BDM Luau pool party is tomorrow, so we look forward to seeing all you BDMs. Uh, again, you don't need a ticket. You just have to be an active BDM, and you could bring you and a friend yes. who's a non-BDM. Yes, an and one. Yeah. Um, and Plus one. If you are a active BDM. So... Uh, and if you are and you don't know the details, send us an email. We'll try to get it out to you. We yeah. sent every BDM an email Monday I even and sent prior. some from my personal email account where people didn't yeah. have them. It's, I'm like trying know. to get them all out here. So um, you can get the information. Yeah. And uh, you can check your account. If you just go to tomandan.com slash registration, log in. Easy breezy. You can check and see if everything's good. Change your card if you need to, and you're good to go. We got Orlando Music Syndicate. Yes. He's going to be DJing uh, the whole night. We got uh, Aloha Productions going to be putting on a Hawaiian presentation with yeah. fire dancing. And, We've got uh, true <laughs> Hawaiian entertainment. That's we cool. had Rex from Aloha Productions yeah. come in on, I believe it was Tuesday. It's a corporate time yeah. with Tom and Dan. That guy's so cool. Such a nice guy. That show starts at 8. He's uh, a world champ. He, he, he and his brother won the world champion uh, fire knife fire dancing. Thing, really? It's very much like martial arts. Yeah, that's, yeah, he's, yeah. He's throwing flaming... It's basically exactly the same. Yeah, it's exactly <laughs> the same. It's like a certain type of martial arts. It's, yeah. it's like, it, but it's, fat guys can do it. Yeah, it's martial arts for fat guys. And it's on fire. Which is better for and me. it's on fire. That's on yeah, you yeah, if you go So it's cooler. Do. It's cool. What are you doing? You're like, oh, what are you, chop a, you're chopping a mat? You're doing a couple punches? This guy's throwing fire yeah, yeah. and he's like, and yeah. I'm big. Yeah. And he's got way better calves than you. Yeah, I got the mountain calves. <laughs> a lot of big guys. Yeah, yeah, like the Maui calves. Calves. Yeah. So, uh, oh, our interns' calves, Chungus Pukamongus. <laughs> our interns' calves are the biggest muscles I've ever seen on a human being. 
Oh, also, uh, it's the end of BDM Appreciation Week. Uh, it is. We do have uh, extra $7 BDM shirts for BDMs if you want them yeah. on the site right now. If you missed out or, you know, maybe you got the wrong yeah. size or something. The, you the know. pre-orders were $5 shirts, but uh, we do have the $7 shirts right now, and Eric will send those out to you. Yep. And um, also, our ACT live show is May 31st, and tickets are still available, but they will sell out. Yeah, it. grab those tickets to see us live at the Wayne Dench Performing Arts Center. It's the Ritz Theater, and so, we want to see you there. Seth, um, y- uh, you sent me a text message uh, the other day. Right. and uh, Well, I'm going to try to go to this, by the way. I'm really trying to... Uh, are you going to go? I, I'm not, well, I, I got Earth Day birthday thing. I'm setting up a karate tent at Lake Eola. For... At Earth Day birthday? Oh, my God. You're going <laughs> to teach all the landscapers how to kick and punch? <laughs> Honestly, Who's going to cut our grass? Listen, if you get them out, are you going to make them cut uh, their ponytails before they come into the dojo? No, I like them. I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm, you're I'm okay with the ponytails? Ponytail. How do you feel about a hatchet man tattoo? How do you feel about that? Uh, uh, a hatchet man tattoo. A hatchet man tattoo. Uh, whoop, whoop. Oh, okay. Whoop, whoop. Uh, uh, by the way, ICP. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we had, uh, we're, we're going to have Shaggy 2 Dope Tonight. on tonight's ACT. Tonight's ACT. Really? So, yeah, yeah. yeah, we interviewed him. It's the right. most F words ever said on the show. I worked on it for a full hour. I felt bad for Daniel. A full hour at the edit. Took longer than the interview. <laughs> so, yeah, the interview is twenty minutes. It and, took me a full hour to get all his F words out. And then Shaggy Two Dope called us the next day. Yeah, oh, hold on, I have uh, this. Hold on. Oh, I gotta get the, it. the day after the oh, interview. Hold on, I gotta get this. And, this is great. Uh, uh, this is great. Hold on, I go, let me go in here. Let me do my magic. Oh. Da, 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 da. Here he is. Okay, yeah. so then after we've done this, and then I pick up the phone, then we get this. Yeah, message. hey, this is uh, Shaggy. I'm supposed to be doing an interview with you guys today. Um, hit me back two four eight. Okay, uh, there you go. The, yeah. um, hit me back. It was the day you know after the he interview. Just <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, he does a lot of interviews. You know, I don't blame okay. him. He does yeah, a lot. Because all he does, I, yeah. I know how it works. The publicist calls you, gives you a fucking list of these goddamn podcasts and shows you got to talk yeah, to. She just connects them and then puts you on the line. Yeah, yeah. So you don't know. It's all you on the line, and it's always two dudes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, everybody. Two dudes have a lot of podcasts. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, so Seth, uh, you sent me a picture yesterday. Oh, by the way, the chat room was asking if we used the beeps for your listening pleasure. Tom and I discussed it, and we, we voted against the beep. It actually is a far more easy listen when you just make it a space, so it's good. It sounds good. <laughs> we figured it out. Uh, One is a beep, two is a beep, three is a beep, four is too many beeps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. After, after four, many, curse, after four. Yeah, then it just becomes beep crazy. Yeah. And it, then it's, it's distracting. distracting. Yeah. Then it's distract- okay. Three is enticing, four is it. distracting. Gotcha. Um, oh, and uh, by the way, I told Shaggy Two Dope that uh, my brother did have a Hatchet Man tattoo on his thigh. He did. And I was so mad at him yeah, for getting yeah. <laughs> Angry. I was like, oh, you, yeah. you want to be branded white trash forever? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, well, I told him that. Well, at least he went to a reputable artist to get it done, right? At least he went to a shop. In a garage. No, he didn't uh, go to a garage. But, uh, he did not. And it is the international sign I of white trash. I kind of want one. I kind of want one. Uh, just uh, just for a joke, I kind of like a little one, a it, little hatchet. Man. The, no, don't do it. I don't even listen to ICP, but I kind of want one. The most regretted tattoo after twenty years, you think, Hatchet mm-hmm. Man? It's got to be. I don't know. I'm Is gonna there... deal with Tracy about tattoos because she's got a lot of tattoos. All right, any? So she wants another one. Well, and she I was want... like, I was like, you have to get rid of one to get one. <laughs> I was like, I made it. We compromised. What are you? Or her parent? Well, because she has one she wants to get. It's it's dug deep and it, it's, it's Doug from by... Doug from Nickelodeon. <laughs> no, it... <laughs> Doug Funny. <laughs> yeah, Doug... and his dog Pork Chop. <laughs> Is that what his dog thing? Yeah, is? I love pork chop. Yeah. So yeah, she wants to get. She wants to do the wedding thing. I think that's bad karma. Like, isn't that like you get a big a... old Tommy Lee dick? I say do it. That's what <laughs> yeah. they did, right? Or Tommy she wants a wedding right, right. ring. I wanted to do that with yeah. Andrea. I wanted to do well, that with Andrea. And Andrea is too much of a. And I thought that was like it. a cur- You know, I thought that was like a thing. Like, oh, if you get that, it no. usually goes. Well, There's no such thing as curses. First of all, well, yeah, of course. And you're the healthiest person I know. As long as it doesn't have your name, yeah, that's true. It's reusable. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like that's true. A, hey, it's, a, it's a, when you get the person's name tattooed on you yeah. or a whole po- it, portrait. Is she going to get a, a colorful? Or like <laughs> no, everything a, she has is black and white. Just black and white. Okay, uh, yeah. I like black and white. I think if I had it to do over again, I probably would have gone all black and white because I like the sun too much. I love the oh, sun. I, see, of I love the color, but I love the sun. Right, so right. it just doesn't mix. How much good. would I have to pay you to get Andrea's face tattooed on your body? 
I'd probably do it for free. Yeah, really? say, at, this, at, this, at this point, I love funny tattoos. Yeah, like uh, I have left and right on my knuckles, <laughs> and right is misspelled, and they're on the wrong hands. Yeah. I don't have enough comedy tattoos. Like I love comedy tattoos. Uh, Dustin from Ono, the uh, the uh, or what is it? What's there? There's Ono Radio. That's uh, that's that's, yeah, yeah. that's our buddy. Uh, I'm blanking on his name now. Owen. He's gonna kill me. And then we've got what is it? No Show TV. That's uh, Dustin. Uh, Dustin has a hi- hamster in his hand eating a corn dog. That's, yeah, yeah, that's no, a yeah. cool it's tattoo. Comedy, yeah, yeah, it's a funny video. tattoo. Right. Back should get karate in Japanese just for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I could write it out for you. Perfectly. That'd be pretty funny. And, and Do you have that? Yeah. Oh no, karate. No, oh. I have bushido, but I don't. Have Do you have any funny tattoos? You got you Japanese. Like, my ass is a giant funny tattoo. <laughs> no, it's, not, it's, not it's not meant funny, to be funny. Though. It's not funny though. It's yeah. like you look like you should be in like. I make it funny. I make this one funny because there's a real. Like live gorilla right here, and I put my penis towards it, and I act like the gorilla is like. Argh. So you have a tattoo of a gorilla on your left leg, my left. and you take your penis and make your they go. tattoo gorilla suck your penis. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. Oh yeah, his mouth is open like he's sucking so, your penis. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just, oh. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. I found out after. I was like, oh look at this. <laughs> but, by the way, if I had that gorilla tattoo, I could not make it suck your penis. <laughs> Hey, look at this gorilla waiting to go to uh, <laughs> floor number five. I, I, I can make him look at it. <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so... <laughs> gorilla has a face-off with a clown. So, uh, back to this picture you sent me. Uh, you, you sent me a picture. And which it was, picture are we talking about? It, I, I sent you Is it the dick pic? <laughs> no, it was a selfie of you with some sort of oh. tube up your nose. Dune, and some you had the dune. Of, and yes. some sort of medical equipment. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god. Yeah. And we gotta help you, dude. We gotta get you over. There's no help. This was planned. Well, yeah, it's only six months ago. It was a plan for six months. Six so it, has, it wasn't that months. long ago. Because the, yeah, the 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 booking, t- they, they were booked until six months. So that's why I did it yesterday. So, okay, all right. What is it, Seth? What do you got there? You, so, uh, do you understand you're the healthiest person we all know? You are. Oh, we were just talking about the. You may you be got one here. of the healthiest people in Orlando. Mm-hmm. I don't even know. I can't even name yeah, someone like, out there. Outside, that's, what they, that's what the headlines are going to read. Healthiest man in Orlando <laughs> found tests? fucking dead. Are there any tests coming back with like saying like, sir? You need to change something. No. I mean, no, they no. tell them you're the healthiest person that's ever been in here. <laughs> like, Maybe that's the problem. Yeah, Maybe that, if they told My neurologist you, told me last week that it's, again, my anxiety, the, probably the fifth doctor that said it's your anxiety. Are you on medication for it? <laughs> The my anxiety? No, I don't want to take medication. I'm sick. I'm, 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 okay, <laughs> well, it's working out great for you. So I certainly <laughs> wouldn't take medication for it. I wouldn't do it. You're right. I absolutely wouldn't do it. I would tough it out until... Uh, I, yeah, the, the path you're on is great. I started doing the meditation things on the Oculus, and then it got me dizzy, and I sold the Oculus. <laughs> you got to just standard meditation. You don't need Oculus. Oculus meditation is not meditation. Well, it was something. It's not. It helped me relax until it didn't. I, I like how your <laughs> mental health is the only thing that's wrong with it. And you will for it is pretty funny though. <laughs> and, and we, and we he's all the most disciplined. He's the most disciplined. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. have a booger on the top oh, of your God. lip. Ooh. He's the most yeah. disciplined with every aspect yeah. of his physical, like every muscle yeah, yeah. in his body. He knows what it does, and it looks amazing. But you're right. His mental health, <laughs> ah, it's fine. I, I'll figure it out. I also like when you're sitting there talking to a fat doctor <laughs> who's more unhealthy than you are. Yeah. He's looking at your test like, God damn, I wish I had these tests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The neurologist literally said, you just scored better on this test. Than me, like it, it was, it was an Alzheimer's test, and I was, I was like, "Give me the test," and she's like, "I'll give you the test." So she gave me the test, and she's like, "This is better than how I did it." I'm like, "Oh, yeah. oh yeah. and then she's Not scared because she's got Alzheimer's." But it wasn't perfect. There was one wrong. She's like, "What did I get?" I'm like, "What did I get wrong?" She's like, Your "Something name. with the clock." You, you yeah, she, can't she, tell she time. Wrong. Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, man, if I was like around here, I'd try to get Seth as my patient because he's just constantly in here yeah. spending money yeah. on all these. I'm out of that game. I don't go as much. I don't go as much. I don't know what the. I think I. Thought the Shout kid, out to Oscar Insurance. I thought the kid would help you out. I thought the kid would funnel you into it makes a direction. It as soon as she makes a little cough, my it does the same thing when I get freaked out. I, okay. it, same thing. Same thing. Hold really? on. Bled right off. You have some insurance <laughs> called Oscar Insurance? Yeah. <laughs> I'm grouchy. I never heard of it either. And then when I, is it the I never heard of it. I'm not paying that. <laughs> uh, no, I was thinking Oscar from uh, Ghostbusters too. Like, a little baby. Oh, hold on. I've never even heard of any Billy Billy have have I, Charles bargain basement insurance. Neither have I until I got called doctors like, oh yeah, yeah, we 
uh, and we everyone have, knew what it was. Yeah, like, okay, we have it here. It's for people that uh, are. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he's going to drop you. <laughs> if, I, if I was Mr. Oscar, uh, I'd be like, this motherfucker, hold on. Let me look at we can't thing. afford this like, shit. He's this guy gets an MRI a week. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's fine. What's the last uh, MRI you had? Last, last week. Uh, Why? MRI, MRA. MRI. MRI. I don't even know what an MRA is. MRI I thought that neck. was the guns. <laughs> <laughs> with with contrast, it was all. Well, for all what? What's shabat. wrong? What's wrong with That's you? That's when I went to the neurologist. It's just about. I thought I was. Remember, I said last time I came in, I thought I was slurring my words. I went to the neurologist and, and told, and told him. Why? Well, maybe. No, maybe not maybe, dude. I like no. You look like. What would it take? How I can love, we fix you? I mean, I was. I thought for like a week, and then it went away, and I just. Maybe, I was it really didn't tired. Away because it was never happening. <laughs> it was never happening. Okay, you were the Tracy healthiest the person I know. In the world. Like, I'm, in my world. In my world. I should counter that. Okay. In my world, I don't think I know a person healthier than me. D- does it bother you that I'm mentally stronger than you? <laughs> 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 like, it's got to bother you. Because right? no, like, I look uh, at it as you're apathetic, and I care, and I, like, I care about my life. You don't care about... You, like... You can disappear in, in, your, in your head. In your head, you matter less. Yeah, 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 yeah. In, yeah. Uh, in, your, in your head, you matter less. So it yeah. doesn't matter. If okay. You die. I uh, think that. Yeah. So uh, I, I think but I it, matter. It went, didn't so it, you have a better it, opinion of yourself because. But isn't done, you're but, trying to keep yourself like going to all these doctors and things is showing. Hold time, on. Like, hold I on. care more about myself than you care about yourself. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. the strongest samurai does not fear death, <laughs> and I'm I'm on closer to the spectrum of that, yeah, that than does. you are. Yeah, right? you are a bit. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. The, the, you are Castleberry Samurai. You know, I, I, okay, I, I, I will that. poop blood and then go, uh-oh. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then never think about it again. <laughs> blood! Yeah. I'll, have beat, I'll have beats the morning or the afternoon. Morning beats? Well, the afternoon and then poop in the evening and think, I was. oh, it might not be the beats. It might be me bleeding and think about it for days to go. So right. that's how, yeah. I'll see it. But like, okay. lumps. And here's the serious me. question I have, though. Here's the serious question I have. So you know you've done this for, let's just say... Let's just say since we built this studio, since you've been coming in uh, here, I remember since 2016, I know uh, you've been doing it. So 2006, when I went on Ultimate Fighter, is right after that is when it started. And by okay. the way, and I know we talk about this a lot, and uh, partly is because well, two of us are hypochondriacs, so <laughs> yeah, and, it kind of is in the world. And there are, and I get emails from listeners that are hypochondriacs that like, oh. you don't even understand, <laughs> dude. Really? A lot of people hide it. It might be fifty fifty. There you go. It yeah. might be fifty fifty because they're embarrassed. It's by so it. many people because yeah. it doesn't I mean, it have to be. Look, you and I are extremes we get it for a lot of different things Mm -hmm. for some people it's just one thing it's just like my eyes or my stomach you know what i mean yeah yeah, like some people just have like one and they're like like no we have like everything i know that i'm better with it though but i don't know why and i feel like you're getting worse no offense and i want to help you (laughs) and and that's why i'm bringing up that we've been doing this since 2016 but you're not like it's not like you're doing anything any different. You know right? what it is? It's you're too healthy. And I thought about this the other day. Yeah, we that, did, we did a segment on it, right? Is that um it, like as I've gotten more healthy? And by the way, I have a whole I'm gonna bitch about this in a second because it's so boring living living like this. And uh, and I've realized now all these healthy I know people you're out, enjoying it. All these fit people out there live a boring life, and I've yeah. I've seen it firsthand. And I want to bitch about it. Um, no, you're part of it. But you can't um, bitch about it if you're part of it. When I was unhealthy, and Seth is so far away oh, from being he- unhealthy, somebody in the chat room convinced they have uh, tongue cancer right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that. I'm gonna tongue throw, cancer. This will help you. I'm yeah. gonna throw these out to okay, help okay. you. Okay. You can see that is black. No, <laughs> no. A lot of times you got to go through, and it's you got to tender. And a lot sore. of times from HPV it goes untreated. You can get mouth cancer and stuff like that. Every there are time now I vaccines. Do- every time I go get. down, I rinse out. Yeah, you should take gauze and you should lift your tongue. You should take gauze. And hold your tongue and lift it, and you should touch and look at the the spaces in your mouth. Do you have any sores or anything like that? You could get a lump or something like that. Yeah, I, I sleep with the fishes. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. I do too. You know what I do? James I, I, I eat it, I pump it, then I wash rag, <laughs> then I go mouth first. Wash rag, dick. Then I hang the wash rag, rag up. Oh, <laughs> then Maisie runs it, grabs, oh, grabs my wash rag, washes Gross. her face. Blech. Yeah, sorry. Oh. No, um, we it's are a brush. It's a brush. So, uh, so anyway, the catheter thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get the catheter. It was a catheter. It was for my. St- okay, so it's for my stomach. They wanted to measure it. Some study where it goes down into your stomach from your nose. You walk around with it for twenty four damn hours, 
It measures. Did you go acidity. out? Did you go to the gym? Oh, I, I had a I had Tracy teach my night class, and I had one of my students. So you were hiding. <laughs> you were <laughs> hiding like a monster. In your I house. was because it was. I thought I would go to the dojo. It was last minute that I told them to teach because I was like, Did I your can't baby go see you with that thing in your nose? Yeah, she'll she, remember. She that. looked and she goes, uh, "It was very confusing." Yeah, she'll oh, remember that. Yeah, she'll yeah, remember yeah, how yeah, weak. That's a core memory. That's a core memory. She remembers her dad as a weak pussy dude. I've never shown my sons any sort of weakness ever. I've shown Maisie all of my weaknesses because I'm. She's now the new heir of the Dennis throne. I'm uh, I'm yeah, abdicating. Yeah. I'm giving it to her to be she's the strongest person in our household. Right. Yeah, yeah so I'm that. just letting her lead the way. So it's a two I'm a most weak, accomplished anyway. I'm a weak king. I'm a weak king. So the tube just goes through your nose all the way down into your stomach. Oh, that doesn't stomach. freak you out? No, it did. Oh. You do know that I, like, you're not supposed to be doing that all the time. I know. So the test before I didn't know I was going for two tests. The first test took an hour. It was a bigger, thicker tube yes. that they put down my nose. That's what and they I, do with butt plugs. They start you with a little. Oh, they yeah. get it, no, they get it, get it. Dilation, one. get it big. And she didn't warn me this nice, this sweet lady. She was awesome. She was half Japanese, so I started talking to her in Japanese to like ease the tension because I was nervous yeah. as hell. And uh, oh, and, they, and they love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but she, she had me. Up. She didn't say this was going to be a, no, no warning at all. She, she started. Go, oh, yeah, she started. Oh, sti- oh, yeah, <laughs> she started sticking oh, it in my nose. Oh, Gave me a oh, straw of water to swallow it down all the way to my sister. Keep swallowing, keep swallowing. I'm like, I can't, I can't breathe. <laughs> keep swallowing, I can't keep swallowing. Breathe. So I, I spit the water I've out. I've seen those I, like, <laughs> <laughs> I said, I can't breathe. She's like, you got to relax, honey. You got to relax, young man. She called me young man. Young she, man? She, oh, that's got to make you feel yeah, good. Yeah. She's like, you got to relax, young man. I was like, yeah. she can see the I'm like I can't breathe. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Am I breathing out my Help, nose? I'm my mouth? Help, I'm like a turkey looking at a cloud. She's like, you just got to relax and breathe as you swallow it. I'm like, Fuck. So I tried it again, and it. Went down, but I was choking and gagging the whole time. Every time I swallowed, it felt like nails are just nailing into me. So for an hour, I had to eat applesauce, drink salt water, oh, all this stuff. I had to drink applesauce. No, shut up. Because I had this tube, and it, it fucking hurt so bad. My eyes are watering. I wanted to sneeze. Every time I swallowed more than once, I had to start over the whole test because it ruined the stupid Thank you for your service. Thing. Oh, no, it fucking sucked. <laughs> and then once they ripped that thing out, then they put one in to go. And to go? A, like you're at Sonny's and you want a sweet tea to go? Yeah, they stuck it in my throat. And like You have to wear this 24 hours. Press this button if this happens. Press this button if this happens. What if what happens? If, uh, if I'm having symptoms, like if I get my bloat feeling or if I get the acid reflux feeling, I like, press this button. So okay. that way it knows to record it. But oh, recording. okay. So you're doing medical. Like, yeah. yeah, you're testing. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. All right. So she's like, you think you can do this? I'm like, I acted tough. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah, I could do this. I'm but scared, son. In my head, I was, scared, like, son. I was like, as soon as I get in this car, I'm ripping this thing out because I cannot. I, I can deal with a lot of pain. A lot of sh- especially if it's finding something about my body, I'm like I can deal with it, I can put up with it. But that was the worst fucking most really? uncomfortable feeling ever. Like it was horrible, 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 horrible. So I went home, ate breakfast, was tearing in my eyes. I was eating. I was like, Tracy, I don't know how you do this. She's Are like, you, she's you're, like you're, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. You wait, you're this. crying <laughs> eating breakfast with a tube hanging out of your nose. Yes, I'm like not crying, but I'm not this crying, but I'm tearing up. This is a samurai. Yeah, yeah, Shut up. Samurais don't cry like that. Samurais don't cry eating breakfast with a tube, like a tube hanging out of their samurai happy sauce. I got to eat applesauce. They, no, they can't do that. <laughs> but I wasn't crying. Uh, Tracy, 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 I gotta do this. It's hanging out the door. It was, now, it was now, making me tear up. I wasn't crying. <laughs> oh, sure. You Damn were. it. Now, yeah. they explained. <laughs> Are you watching Shogun? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, it's fucking amazing. It's so good. The, I have one more episode. It's so fucking good. Yeah, now, they explained. I've been telling this guy. Well, of course I have one more episode. It goes in. The, first, the first episode, the guy, she's jacking that guy off. Uh, was, now, and now, then it got non-sexual. I wish it kept up that the Asian titties a lot. I, oh, the Asian titties are fucking magnifique yeah. I, I went to uh, ENT when I remember I uh, call it an ear nose and throat what do you think you're fucking better than us the uh, when I was getting the uh, straight up uh, booger throat all the time I still yeah. get it yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you had a booger on your lip a minute ago yeah, you and, cough that up from your throat and then uh, I take acid <laughs> reflux medication <laughs> and uh, you do uh, yeah, yeah, yeah what do you take Nexium? No, pills, from, from something called O something. I never know. You want to tell me? Omeprazole. 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 Ozempic. Omeprazole. Yeah, that's it. Uh, do you know that I? This is. I'm just going to give myself uh, another pat on the back. I was prescribed Dexium for acid reflux because I'm convinced that everybody gets it. And then my insurance stopped covering Nexium because now it's like over, it's the, over counter the counter or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, ah, I'm not taking it anymore. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. And well, I just gave up. Well, you're not supposed to take it. For, you're supposed to take. That's like a two or four week treatment. Yeah, I just gave it up. I'm just like, I'm not taking that anymore. But just I let it burn. And I was like, I, I because my throat felt sore all the time. And I was like, uh, I don't know what's that. And then they they looked at it with the camera, which uh, is uncomfortable. I'm sure they did it with you. Oh, I and, like that when you're getting scoped. And yeah. you have to stay open. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. Uh, he's like, "As ah, red, he's like, uh, we <laughs> could." He, he's like, "We could," and they want to upsell you yeah, uh, yeah. because that's it's all I can business. Get it and slice and dice them good. And he's like, "We can give you this thing. You have to wear, put a tube down your throat, monitors that re- oh, has the levels." It. He's like, "That's how to tell the the most perfect, accurate." Uh, thing. And I was like, "No, thank you." <laughs> I, <left. laughs> I never went back, and I never will go back uh, because I realized that that was overkill and way too. But what? Much. Nah, maybe not. Maybe there's like a little tiny. Any little thing down there, like saying, <laughs> I'm coming to fuck your life up. In like 10 years. What, what, There's what nothing down there. What would it be? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Also, I think well, you're you creative, could... and you don't activate your creative side enough. Maybe what? You, what? you gotta like, you gotta get that out. You're, what you're, do you mean? No, your no. Creativity you mean? is inventing certain things, right? Like yeah. I do that. Oh, inventing certain. Yeah, you body. are. You're sitting there stewing, and you're inventing things using your creative mind. Will create. Don't turn anything into cancer. Why don't Some you sort li- of creative, aggressive super cancer that doesn't exist? Hmm. Doesn't exist. Why don't you live the religion of math? Uh, I've I've tried to live this religion. I'm trying to get more disciplined with I think the religion maybe of math. You did that with my hypochondria. Yeah. I think I got so sick of hearing you throw logic at me, and then one day I was just like, "Fine, <laughs> I'll just under- fucking look at the fucking data." I, I well, you gotta understand. I, you know, I'm super logical with things, but the, but when it comes to that, there's something that some sort of psychology in my brain. It's an irrational thought that. Takes over and you can't control it. Yeah, yeah. I mean you can control it. Again, I'm just not a well, samurai strong enough. To <laughs> oh, now you beat him down. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, he's got it. He's got it. See, there's that little, there's the that little thing yeah, coming up. Scope him. him. Yeah. We gotta scope him. Uh, yeah. Come and get me, kid, sir. I'm tough as fuck. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Because I will play uh, that drop when you're dead. Come and come and come and come and come and get me. I'm all cancer to come. What does that mean? It means nothing. I'll have people remix it. Come and get me, come and get me, cancer. Come and get me, cancer. I'm fuck. Heart is fuck. Heart, heart is. Play it at my funeral. <laughs> I will. I will. I'm up there dancing. Me and Tommy and uh, Max. I'm a, a blue blocker sunglasses or dancing. Around. <laughs> so, um, anyway. So, uh, so did yeah. you wear it? Uh, so, I wore it as long as I could. I, I had it in the afternoon. It? You know. Every hour, I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a little bit more to eat, and then pull it the fuck out. I'm gonna have more because it measures after you eat. You know, usually yeah, that's yeah. when it happens. My symptoms. Are you still eating only uh, happy sauce? So, no, I'm eating anything. They said eat normal. They're like eat totally normal. Does so it feel weird eating? Yeah, yeah. Yes, it feels, it feels acid like reflux. Feels like Bird something. Yeah. <laughs> Anxiety is fucking giving me a fucking acid it's, reflux. It's worry. It's that mind. Yes. Gut. I was talking about this with you earlier this week. The it's, a, mind, it's a vicious cycle. I love making you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but he's only going. But he's also <laughs> going to a physical doctor for something that's mental. And you're and you think it's the funniest yeah, joke yeah. ever said on the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, he, he's looking at the wrong doctor for it. Every problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, every problem the wrong that place. you have is caused yeah. by <laughs> the only problem yeah, you have. A, he goes to the auto parts store yeah, and he's yeah. like, he goes to the auto parts store and he opens the door and he's like, "Where's the fresh meat?" And then and you're looking around and, and there's there. And that's the only problem you won't fix it which <laughs> makes me laugh i tried it's fixing comical. it it's funny it's like all like the the one actual problem you have is causing all these other problems and you won't fix the oh, i started i went to the neurologist that's part of the problem i thought it was something going on in my head too like maybe yeah, a cte psychologist and then no, no, and then the lady physical did... head problem no i know i know <laughs> yeah right I know. Yeah, you get it you get it i know i get it I just... Dude, but the... just in case i want to make sure there's <laughs> always that just there's just always that just in case i used to be in the just in case until I got but that's and I feel like symptoms are too strong to be just manifested by or just like produced by like my biocycle no I would imagine see I would disagree with you there and say that I bet you because you're so healthy I think because you're so healthy your chemicals could be so um, you could still have them be off but only because you're so clean you could be like having one thing just fuck you up constantly yeah. and all it takes oh. is them dialing in one little thing and then you're good to go so back to my you, the reason this is happening is you're too healthy is you haven't been unhealthy for such a long time you forgot like when's the last time you were I ate fat? a Reese's Pieces last night <laughs> <laughs> And I don't do that during the week. <laughs> One reason. I've never reason. heard you say that. Yeah. No, I think you're lying right now. Tracy, you ate a fucking Tracy reason. walked in and saw me and she goes, her eyes got fucking. She goes, she's, she's like, like she's like, cheating like, on her. You're, she said, you're cheating? 
I'm like, you know what? I'm like, I had a fucking my legs hurt at a long day. <laughs> my legs hurt. <laughs> what if he? What if he goes? What if he just starts eating all the cake? <laughs> oh, I, 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 oh, no, I, 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 I My whole entire goal is to have Seth on the show long enough to where he gets fat. Seth. <laughs> no. and, and then all our listeners. And then, and then we, we get, have a big party. And then I got a wig on. We're bleaching the wig. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, well, you're not happy all our listeners the there. <laughs> and then we'll have a whole. That wig is definitely coming yeah, one day. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll have a whole uh, get a hippo costume. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy caught you sneaking cake. Because yeah. she, she was breastfeeding the baby, so I was like, I'm tired. I'm gonna if you told me that, I would never b- fucking believe you. Yeah, yeah. Candy, dude. Oh, candy. Yeah, yeah but you can have as much candy as no, you no, want. No, no, no. I'm not saying well, he shouldn't do it. I'm, so I'm laughing at that. That's the last thing he would yeah. ever do. Like, it yeah, yeah. must be bad if you're eating fucking candy. I just, want, I just was like, I don't know why. I was just like, I'm going to do it. And I usually always be like, no, why the fuck? Don't do it, you pussy. Don't yeah, the, the chat room doesn't thing. believe you either. SJ is like, one whole Reese cup? I know. That's what I'm saying. A whole Reese cup? Yeah. And then I felt like shit afterwards. But during it, oh, I was no. like, oh, this is great. This is great. This is great. <laughs> it, when, it, when you get used to feeling pains and aches and your, your uh, bubble guts and things going wrong all the time, then you become hardened to it. And therefore, it doesn't alarm you when you feel pain. Yeah. You know and then so you're not used to that because when I was at my most unhealthiest, I had pain all the time. Like, oh, <laughs> you know, yeah. my feet, yeah. everything, or my, everything would hurt yeah you know and then well, just from pure get used just, to just it. from inflammation you know yeah, yeah, yeah. something as simple as just soaking your body in alcohol yeah. every <laughs> single day <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm being serious i mean like i mean like we're not health nuts but okay. i'm just saying like you can increase your inflammation by like what i mean i'm sure it's 100 yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're just soaking if yourself just, in booze i'm yeah. glad you brought that up because uh this year it's taught me that uh healthy people like seth and like uh my brother-in-law jetson and yeah. any of these runners and, <laughs> all these runners and these people that live a healthy lifestyle uh what i realize is how much actual exercise and uh lot. and dedication they have well, that's towards my, this it's definitely my whole life yeah yeah, yeah. like when it, i hear things about i don't mean to interrupt you but when yeah, i hear things about people People like rest like all these cool restaurants, all these cool food places. I'm like, I haven't tried 98% of those because I can't eat that during the week. And then when I do have a cheat meal, it's I want something core like that I'm I'm used to, like a public sub or like a fucking fried chicken from Publix. But you're also yeah. cheap or sushi. Yeah. You're or not gonna want to go to like Otto's no, high dive not. and these. Well, sure, yeah. You're gonna come out of there for like three. But if I was like eating during the week, normal, like I would try all these cool little like niche places out and like hole in the wall places to eat and stuff. But I just haven't tried any of them because of that. And that I do I do kind of like it makes me a little. Why don't so, you try one? But I just one a month or one a week or yeah, something. I could do that. Yeah, but yeah. then I'd miss out on my it, like. It's a mentality thing. Yeah. You get it's all or nothing yeah. for these yeah. guys. He's you know, what I'm like, it's, I'm like, it's funny because I'm now day walking between it. it, and then I'm like, oh, I got to do this oh, workout I see you every do it fucking here. day. You'll have something going on, and you're like him and and then you're like, ah, I'll just go do it, and you'll go out to train. And, and then, but that made me realize, uh, because I'm just doing a fucking small ass sprint triathlon. But these people that are running marathons and shit, uh, uh. Uh, like uh, tr- recently, Trey Flynn from um, Yellow Brick Road Foundation. Oh yeah, I love Trey. He's ran a marathon or whatever, and then it, it, but it dawned on me. I'm like, that motherfucker had to uh, train a lot to do that. Like mm-hmm. that's a dedication that that must have taken him a year of straight running yeah. or more. You know, like and so and w- they exercise so much that every day is the same, and it's disciplined, and it's eating the yeah. same shit, and mm-hmm. it's going to bed getting eight hours. I mean, and I like, like the routine so of that though. Boring, but it's yeah. So boring. Well, there's yeah. comfort comparatively. In I yeah, agree with that. I like routines yeah. too. There's it's organization. I like the organization. Yeah, of it. Like it's everything in this room that yeah. I do is organization. Like, I, there's comfort in routine. There's comfort in knowing that you have but, it, like, like organized and ready to right. go. Knowing that I have a water, like uh, coming in here, seeing you guys drink Mountain Dew and soda, <laughs> and fat yeah. sodas. Yeah. Yeah. That fucking makes me has it gives me anxiety looking sugar. at that. Because yeah. I'm like, I couldn't, I can't imagine drinking that. It's energy water. Yeah, I'm drinking this chemical energy water. Better get on the future train because this is what this is what peak man performance drink and by the Goat way piss. my math religion uh lets me drink that because that doesn't give you cancer uh, right math says that <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. we uh, looked it up one time <laughs> we yeah, looked yeah. it up one time and and quora yeah, said yeah. that the quora, yeah. yeah said that you would have to drink 40 gallons of it yeah, yeah, for like yeah. every day of your life yeah for like 10 years for, yeah. or some shit and then anyway. you might get cancer um mm-hmm. so uh i have realized that you guys have been you leave li- 
lived these boring lives to be as fit as you are. And I started thinking, I was like, man, like uh, fat alcoholic Tom, like that guy lived an exciting life. Of- Faster life though, right? <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> no, but I'm is just it a- like hot and fast? It's like barbecue, hot and fast versus slow and a- low. Every night, I didn't know how drunk I was going to get. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like I could get really drunk. Yeah, yeah. I could what eat Taco Bell. What day is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Tuesday. Like, oh, Tuesday. Thursday That's- night football drunk. Friday night Yo. drunk. Saturday drunk. My favorite. Sunday That's drunk. Not- Monday night football drunk. My favorite was Thursday night drunk. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest with you. Thursday okay. night football drunk I, is I like, my favorite drunk. I like Tuesday night drunk. <laughs> I, could, I could see what you're saying, but this is my philosophy, and I stuck by this forever. Sure. Like, I'm sacrificing, like, during the week or, like, for, like, three weeks or most of the time except for two or three days out of the month where I can, like, have fun. And those two or three days are way more rewarding than your every single day because it means that much more for those one or two days that I get to, like, Go crazy or get drunk or freaking have it. It, it feels yeah. that much better. Have two Reese oh, than having you. You know what I mean? days every day. <laughs> yeah. So like, look, 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 look. look. Every when I was day fighting, could be fun when I was fighting, but it's not the same level of fun. It's like hitting heroin like every hour. Like, oh, I can't maintain that same high. I mean, they're you, uh, yeah, you come chasing. down, you bust your ass, you discipline yourself. You're low, you're low, low. Then you're like, here's my reward in like two weeks. This is what I get to do. And then when you get to that fucking two week mark and you get to have fun, it's that much more exciting. Like All fighting, right. I busted my ass for three months for a fight. Straight at nothing, did yeah, nothing. Discipline, yeah. two, three days training, and then after the fight for two or three days, it was a fucking shit show, and it like was so much fun and so crazy, and it meant that much more. Because if I did that every day, it wouldn't mean as much. Does it really fuck Listen. with you? It's like the concept <laughs> of heaven. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, what does it really heaven. fuck with you to know that? <laughs> yeah. Like, what do you think about like your your the, the amount of discipline you're putting into it now is unmatched as far as people that I know. But then on the other hand, you could have somebody like our very good friend uh, Chungus Glorioso. Uh, who, you know, same age. I mean, heavy, heavy. We brought him up before, but, yeah. like, I mean. He's having fun. Yeah, that <laughs> man is day. having a blast. And in the, with the roll of the dice, like you're saying, I mean, you put the dune thing in your nose, you're testing everything, and you can just yeah, die. Yeah. And then, like, what, what you, was it for? What, what you, was it for? Yeah, what if you only die, like, a five years after Chunk? Yeah. <laughs> and he lived or daily what if you die fun, before <laughs> What if he's, like, at your funeral? I mean, I get pleasure out of looking think, in the mirror and be like, yeah, I, I did this. It's uh, rewarding. Okay, also, I like that. I think about, uh, think back at fat alcoholic Tom and uh, every poop was oh, a, I a, a different mystery of what I love <laughs> it yeah. could be beer can could be explosive <laughs> yeah. alcohol I like that it's like a blind box <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like blind box toys you yeah, open some, them, oh I already see, had this my one. shit's like that just because of anxiety though. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, well, yeah, yeah. the one thing that's, that's wrong with it, yeah. I never have a solid yeah. shit and then I'm like I, I'm like some days I miss waking up at like random times in the middle of the night <laughs> <laughs> with a crazy uh, <laughs> hangover anxiety yeah, yeah. where I'm like <laughs> <laughs> like oh, three thirty in the morning, oh, yeah. my heart's beating, I'm sweating. I like I do that thing. Oh, where I roll over, like I wake up and like, oh, where am I? And then I roll it's over, a surprise. and I'm like, I need a drink, I need a drink, and I grab a drink. But it's, I don't the, get any it's of a now. lukewarm beer that oh. I was still drinking, and I, I still drink it. Yeah. I still drink it. Yeah, I could have uh, randomly ended up in jail back in the day. Yes. <laughs> now there's oh. almost zero chance I'll be in jail, and that's something that's a uh, you know a surprise that could happen oh. that I took out of my life. Yeah, yeah. you want to take a little break? Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying it is well, objectively a boring way well, to live. Well, I did rip. I did end up ripping it out in the evening time. I was supposed to wear it overnight. And then when I went in the morning and I felt guilty because I didn't want to tell him I was a pussy and I ripped it out. Yeah. I was like, so, so I was like, I had my baby in my hands. I didn't realize she had her hand on the you tube. Blame I, the baby. I set her down. I looked up and the baby pulled it out like eight inches. I didn't know what to do. So I just ripped it all the way out. And they're like, oh, we understand. That's okay. So That's I, fine. I lied about it. People lie about their babies. <laughs> so I lied about why I pulled it out. Yeah. We just gave this to you your charger and charge okay. anyway. <laughs> yeah. It we, does nothing. We, we know by looking at you, you don't need this. You're the healthiest person in a hundred years. I mean, there is some here. truth to that. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, but did they tell you the res- I go back in a week for the results. Right. Oh, <laughs> so you're sweating it there, right? Are you, little, are you freaking yeah. out a little bit? I mean, bit? this isn't going to be like, this isn't a life or death thing. This is going to be like, if it's, if it's an acid, is it just uh, regurge? Is it just like re-gurge. indigestion? Re- the food just coming up without acid? Like, you got yeah. GERD. <laughs> you got GERD? That's the worst thing. GERD's for nerds. <laughs> if, you're, if you got GERD, yeah, you're a nerd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, the least hot thing you could have, yeah, right? I I sweated the MRI. Last week I was sweating the MRI thing because that would have told me. Tracy, where's Sensei? I'm sorry, he's got GERD. (laughs) 
<laughs> Tracy, Miss Tracy, where's Sensei? We we really wanted to show him our katas. I'm sorry. He died of GERD. <laughs> I'm taking over the dojo now. Me and my daughter will rule. Oh. Uh, so <laughs> at least oh. we have two strong women yeah, yeah, take over the dojo take over, for you. Yeah, yeah. So before we go to break, you, <laughs> also, a, <laughs> you had an announcement. <laughs> <Gerd is great. laughs> you had an announcement. Oh, you uh, want to do that now? Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. identify as a Gerdman. <laughs> we got a lot of uh, other, other stuff shit to, to get to. <laughs> well, I, I, you're halfway right with me. Like getting rid of my stuff. It's not my boat. Oh, oh. But I am going to list my Hellcat for sale probably no! over the weekend on Monday. No! All right. So You're listing the Hellcat. And I will, I will include the free toilet you guys can't <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, <my> <laughs> You motherfucker! You at least have to have some video of you. Oh, I'll get a video. I'll get a, uh, next okay, to I'll, do, I'll do a video first. And then, okay. I'll, and then, yeah, I'll, yeah. And then I'll include it. Yeah, yeah. At least it's taking up, yeah. it's taking up space in my goddamn yeah. garage. I was supposed to get us some goddamn inter- like some Instagram clicks. Okay, so, I'll, I'll, so why are you selling your Hellcat? Well, it goes on along with something else. Uh, I Tracy's really in the chat room. She says, like Tracy? no, he's not. Yes. It's not for sale. She's weird. Oh, she wants you she's to keep it? She's weird with that. I don't know why she's all about that. She says it's not for sale. That's what Mama's saying. Well, and ma- what is. Mama says, I'm you know. Sorry. We have a... Be- we have well, a- she did marry a man that's now transitioning into someone who wears yeah. collared knitted shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 She's like, you're wearing an old man shirt. You wear little Italian hats and you've got the biggest case of gird in Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> and you're selling your hot yeah. car. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah. Uh, she married an yeah. uh, yeah. MMA yeah. strong this boy. This is Junior's <laughs> Sobrano. Remember the old man Junior Sobrano? Yeah, she married a party animal that was yeah. ripped, that, uh, that, you know, yeah, yeah. grabbing life by now the horns. dressed like Archie Bunker. <laughs> <laughs> Not old, I'm, I'm old, old like nitty gird. <laughs> <laughs> nitty gird. You know what? Uh, so she, so you're, you're what are you your get? idea. What are you going to yeah, get? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to get in. I have a TRX. I don't need all these cars. I have a okay. fucking Scout still sitting there. I have my TRX. I have my bike that I'm still trying to sell that so to. Where do you sell that? On Facebook Marketplace? <laughs> like, I'm, I will put it on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> it's going to go to like oh the classic God. auto tra- like auto trailer. Sound, like, no, you can't put that on auto trailer. <laughs> what do you mean? There's, they have luxury cars <laughs> on auto, auto trailer. <laughs> That's not around anymore. It's not? <laughs> yes, it is. Auto trailer.com. It's on webs. It's on a fucking. It's on the interwebs. <laughs> That's an old man. <laughs> an old man <laughs> it's oh, three shit. It's a letter. <laughs> Carvana. Like all these places. I, 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 I put a listing of the auto train. It's still trader. there. I put a listing of the auto train on the petty save. It's three cents a letter. I got them both for 75 bucks. Well, what I was hoping to do, and I ran this by you, and you thought it was a bad idea, because you I'm not going to say why, because okay. I'm not going to throw you under the bus with what you, how you think of your fans and is listeners. It, is it me or Tom? I, wanna, so, I told Tom this. I oh, want yeah, yeah, to no, do it. No, well, that's a goddamn scam. Yeah. No, it's not a scam. I want to raffle it off yeah, to you're, listeners. You're like, uh, well, a thousand of your listeners. Listeners pay a hundred dollars for a raffle ticket, and someone to win the the help. I mean, the chat room saying that he should sell raffle tickets. I See, mean, Grady, that's exactly what I Grady said. Grady Seasons just said sell no. raffle tickets. Yeah, EJ saying no, but EJ says no to everything because he's fat. I, he, I was, he, as long as I get what it's worth, EJ and what I can had sell his for. daughter call in and leave no. a message telling me to not call him fat. Yeah, yeah, but but if so, what if you don't get what you wanted? Then it, there's a there's a what do you call that one on the auctions? There's a, a reserve, a reserve, a reserve, thing, a reserve and then it. I'll give all the money right back <laughs> if I don't get to my age. Yeah, but that's so essentially a scam time. so that uh, you get $100,000. I don't want 100 I just want what I'm, I'm going to sell for $80,000. If I can get my Is it 80, worth $80,000? Yeah, it's, it's things listed now for like seventy five, like comparable Hellcats, well, Red you, Eyes. You just okay. named a number less than 80,000. 80, uh, okay. No, uh, yeah. and 75 is the high, so you're getting 62. Well, I'll split yeah, it. I, don't know I mean, I was going to split it with you guys, so but that's on you. But no, you're not going to split it with me. Not split it, but I'll give you a percentage for it's your I'll listeners. I'll take a percentage. There you go. It's your listeners. I'll take a percentage. That's yeah. why I wanted to run it by you. And I, I, I and thought it's not going to charity. That's that ship sailed. <laughs> I'm yeah, over. No, I've done that charity. for the last thirty years. Yeah, but my charity is my daughter. People now. will buy a ten dollar raffle ticket, but we're not going to be able to, to get win an eight. You wouldn't pay a thousand dollars to win an eighty thousand dollar car. We're doing this like the Crime Line motorcycle one, where it's a big dog ticket. You can do these ten dollar tickets. A thousand. Thousand dollar ticket? No yeah. one's paying a thousand. There's eighty people that have disposable a thousand dollars disposable income to win that. For one in eighty chance, you pay a thousand dollars. That's horrible odds. That's bad odds. I don't <laughs> know my odds. <laughs> so, one in eighty. Uh, that is a horrible gambling. That's better than what getting struck by new? lightning. What did you pay new? Can can I ask that? Uh, right at eighty. 
Right at eight. Well, then you're not going to get eighty for it. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, that's you not know, how you don't know how business works. <laughs> <laughs> you don't I buy do. something, then hold yeah. it. You sound like my wife. How long have you, you had do, it? You, you do said, these cars because they're a fucking beanie baby. They're, reta- <laughs> they're retaining their value, and they're going to go up as soon as they stop making them this year. Yeah, but you ruined yours by putting stickers all over. It's it a sticker. Sh- you can take the stickers off. Yeah, are you going to yeah. take the stickers off before you list it? That'll be included if you want me to do that. No, no. Yeah, but then it's a very specific audience. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to pay to get the sticker cleaned off. You see what I'm saying? I will do the sticker. If you want, you can either keep it or take it off. I will pay the whatever oh, okay. if you want to keep it or not. All right, all right, that's fair. So yeah, that's I'll pay How's the interior. It, per, everything is perfect. There's no cum in that. There's car? still there's still the tags Have on the leather seats. It? Have you fucked in that car? Would it be worth more if I did? <laughs> no, but I just don't want cum in it. No, is no, there no. any market? Because I know you did this at one time, and someone a hundred dollars a ticket. People are in. in it. I'm yeah, just th- I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's the math on that? Eighty you need thousand. thousand. You need a well. You need uh, eight hundred. Um, do we have 800 listeners? There's no way we do, but there's no way that we have 800 that want that car for $100 a pop. 100 bucks? Well, you'd be able to, if you want it, you'd be instantly sell it for at least 50 uh, instantly. On, you know, 50? 60, no. you know. Yeah. Like oh, I said, Carvana already offered no, me I like did, I would just go fast. 70 for it. I'd go oh, hot really? and fast. Yeah. I'd be like, get it out of, get yeah. it out of here. Oh, so, I, so, 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 I thought this would be fun and p- listeners could have my... Carpet. Tom hates fun, you know that. Look at him; he's always well, thinking about his bike ride later today. The, the, and training. Here's the the problem is with gambling. People don't understand. They're like, I want to win this car. Here's uh, you know, a hundred dollars per raffle ticket, and there's eight hundred people. But that's a hard. That's still horrible odds to uh, pay a hundred dollars for the chance to win sixty thousand. Uh, but there's eight hundred people. You got a one in eight hundred chance of winning sixty thousand. I think it's horrible odds. Look, uh, look, I don't know what math you're throwing out, but anyway. <laughs> I just think it's more of like a thing for like the listeners wanting the car. I thought it would be more like they want the tampon car more than anything. I don't know if there's anybody that wants that car. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. I mean, like, that's why it, I put it out there. Not because seat. it's not a cool car, but it's more of like a U car. It could be an everybody car if you just like have the right. If you put it up there all white, then then well, I, you're okay. going to get more money. I drove no. it around one day. What would you think? And uh, Did I, you fuck on the car? <laughs> you did, didn't you? No, uh, but uh, when I was driving it around, I did feel like I was better than everybody else. You I feel like you had a fat that. one? Do you I, feel like you had a thick one in your pants? I, but I also was simultaneously embarrassed. By the ridiculous. Were people looking at you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody. Did you have the windows down? Um, No, windows up because I again I was embarrassed. But were you listening (laughs) to classic rock? Were you listening to classic rock right now? Oh, that's the best. Is listening to Aerosmith. You got to listen to classic rock in that car. Like people, like I could tell by just they were looking in the window or through the tinted windows, and uh, they're just like, "Who's driving this?" (laughs) I could see it in their eyes of them wondering, like, "Who buys this?" Come on. The once in a once in a while when I do pull up to the dojo and the kids are waiting outside for me, let them. And they're like, I like your car, Sensei. Yeah, yeah, it makes yeah, yeah. Me feel good. Sensei, you have the best car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kids. How's your GERD? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. Kids like all types of ridiculous yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I yeah, know yeah. it's ridiculous. Kids yeah, love yeah. my car. Right. I pull up in my car. They're like, you have a spaceship and you're little like yeah. an alien. I, I will tell you, I, younger kids like Teslas they more do. than any other car. Like, they do. my oh, son really? Max looks at Teslas more. So like, does May. He, like Lamborghinis we did? Like we did? Yeah. He'll be like, oh shit, a Tesla. Tesla. It's like the Lamborghini <laughs> Kuntak. But it's weird because right. it does Lamborghinis at least look like a spaceship. Yeah. You know, they, yeah, I think yeah. I, I honestly and the Tesla like, looks like a goddamn like regular suburban. It looks, it looks like, like a, somebody farted it. It's like a bear uh, like a mine looks like a bar of soap. It's yeah, like yeah. I don't it's, it's like so one of the plain. least It's very plain. That's it's one of the things like, I hate dude. the most about that car. Like I love the tech in it, but I'm not I'm not blown away by the design yeah. at all. You know, you need to get a, a wrap that looks like Tron on it. That's why. I do want to get a wrap on it. I think that'd be funny. I wanted to do a funny one. Dude, now like JoJo was where she puts her face all over it. Japanese all over it. Yeah, I would have put something <laughs> funny all over it. I think it would be funny. Listen, I'm uh, no stock guy, but um, now that I think about it, like if, uh, because they're they're getting that shit from YouTube. So if my sons are getting the love for Teslas from YouTube or the show, then that means the nation's kids are getting it too. And in like uh, eight more years, there are going to be a lot of fucking Tesla sales. You, would think. you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't if, know. if that's their dream car, uh, there's going to be a percentage of it. And I would invest in Tesla, I think. Well, right? people like to throw. Well, well, it's the, it hasn't been doing well the stock at least because the last quarter I guess they produced more cars than they sold. There's also diminishing um, like people are are sort of falling out of love with EVs because mm. you know like I never bought one because I thought it was going to save the earth or be economical. Well, definitely, I yeah, just like the tech. 
Yeah. And that's the only reason. So, uh, there, isn't there like an issue now with the pedals? Something just happened with the pedal. Like, I don't know. Guys, I don't use got, the got pedal. Stuck and I don't it, use... There's a stop sale on all. I don't touch the pedal. The cyber trucks right now. But what no, I, I don't have. But one who of those. cares about now? What I'm saying is, eight years from yeah, now, if yeah. all these kids are buying <laughs> Teslas as their first car, or at least uh, you know have it in their mind that that's their favorite car. My son Max, it's his favorite fucking car. Really? That's and crazy every to me. T- and he's excited to see one on the road. And and he rode in mine. At the, what, what? He rode in mine. Yeah, you drove him in mine, right? He saw, yeah, yeah. I, I, like, this I is drove. for people with GERD. <laughs> <laughs> this is a GERD turd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they, this is an old muscle car. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like, think of this one? Like, I'll we're... take it down to Johnny's other side, get you a hamburger, and we'll slap some biker bitches on the ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Bygone yeah. man. <laughs> it's a loud GERD mobile. <laughs> he wants the sleek, silent yeah. Tesla. Silent, no GERD. Uh, it's actually faster than your car. No, it's not fast. Yeah, yeah, many I think, Tesla's, I've I think it's quicker. Bitches. It may be quicker, stuff. Faster. Well, I, yeah, I think it off the like, jump. He'll uh, like Daniel for a half second off the mile. jump. Yeah, no, he won't give me a quarter jump. mile. I, I don't think I can beat him in a quarter mile. I don't think so. Off the no. jump, you probably beat me. Zero, off the to, jump. Six, zero to sixty. I'm three point one. I think I'm this. I think it's right at three point one for me too. Hold on, we gotta let's raise. It. Let's do finally. Yeah. Right, we <laughs> never do shit. But <laughs> before you sell your car, yeah. let's go down to the let's Biffo let's Speed at World. Least flip it. Before, yeah. No, no, like you, you put Daniel. We we'll get a helmet or whatever. Which uh, I'm not wearing no helmet. <laughs> yeah, 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 We're yeah, just right. doing zero to sixty. And uh, let's let's raise it because I think he may be. I don't know. I just know yeah. what it, it's it, going to be close. A mind is a web of lies, though. Everything they tell you about Tesla is a lie. You know, like the range, all okay, that stuff. Okay, three point four, but I have aftermarket exhaust, which will probably put me right out of it. Well, all I'm saying is that I'm uh, little, and I'll be nude inside, with wearing no clothing. <laughs> it's at least equally as fast as your car. I'll be eating. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's going to come down to like if you like EVs, you're going to say I'm a little faster, and then if you're a traditional uh, one, which most of the car guys are traditional one. Well, yeah, no. I, I my car gets shit on so much, but I love it. It's just. Fun to not drive. It's fun to be driven around. I'm going to make a proclamation that I was thinking about last night uh, because me and Daniel have, we've been talking recently and uh, we're going to start getting crazier with the show and start doing shit that uh, we, you know, we normally wouldn't do. And Mm -hmm. let's go do more. We're going to start 69 in each other. Way more uh, go to shows. uh, Why not? Let's go do, let's race uh, Seth's Hellcat versus your Tesla. I'll uh, set it up next week. Not not that we could do it next week, but I'll just make a call. Yeah, we'll just figure it out. Out. Um, and then we'll do a go-to show that, and let's just start doing more shit like that. I love it. Right. I love it. Let's right. take a little break. Um, let's start with. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go funky because I like to give you guys a dose of all different kinds of music. This is. It just came in this morning. This is Joseph Luca. The name of the song is One Last Dance, featuring the Pocket Princess. I think that's who that is. Um, it's real funky, so enjoy this. We'll be right back. one 844 or show at TomAndDan.com for last-minute emails. We would love to talk to you. I remember locking in your bed and every sexy thing you said and every look with ten times over. I remember stepping. I bet you think you're cooler than me with your big Chevy truck with your bikes on the back of it like some sort of <laughs> workout guru. Got Tony Little over here riding all over. You do love your truck, though, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was one of the best. I'm a little purchases. jealous. I'm a little jealous of having a truck. Well, I'm pulling my boat and, uh, the, the, you know, the just Chevy Just having Silverado. something you can just throw something, like throw everything in yeah, the back yeah, of it yeah, yeah. and just barrel on down the road. Um, it's cool. My wife loves her Chevy Traverse as well. We got them from J.C. Harrelson and Don Mealy Chevrolet in Claremont. I love that you guys. There's some good, true blood American <laughs> driving <laughs> well, those Chevys, buddy. We also had two different Subarus. You did. I had a Subaru Forester and a WRX. You saw the error of your ways, though, with the way you were voting. In <laughs> <this week. laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm that kidding. WRX uh, was super fun. How I, many of our listeners have WRXs? Well, there's a Subi group, and I know that uh, Tony Munjet. Yeah, Tony Munjet's in there. And I, I do dr- miss your Subi. That thing was so fun. If you want to get nostalgia... I'll never forget the time I had to drive your Subi back from the Orlando City match here to get your pass, uh-huh. and I was driving like a madman. <laughs> oh, I was driving like a madman. Talk to Mike Stacks at uh, Sports Subaru uh, right there on John Young Parkway. It's a brand new dealership. Yeah, super it's beautiful. Nice. Um, and uh, he'll hook you up. I mean, and then when you buy a car from either dealership, you get to come in and watch a show. We just had some listeners last week come in and watch a Friday Free Show. We're getting a lot of Outback guys. I like the new Outback. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ross got an Outback. Am yeah, I allowed yeah, to say that? Yeah. yeah Have yeah. you seen the interior? in that car? Ah, it's it's like nice. baseball leather, man. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Great resale value in Subarus. So, uh, Most people just trade it in on another Subaru, though, yeah. if I'm just being honest. Like, once my like friends go Subaru, 
It's they stay Subaru. So these two car dealerships have been with us for more than a decade now, supporting yeah. us. So if you want a car, support them. It really helps us out. And please let them know that we sent you. Yeah, it's Sport Subaru, North John Young Parkway, and Don Mealy Chevrolet in Claremont. Oh my God! Where's my mic? Oh, there we go. That's brand new music from Strung Out. Um, I, I was confused there, and I'm always confused by the band Strung Out. All of their albums, even though I love them, they always sound like they compress the shit out of them. Like the, okay. it sounds like the file is like big enough. I can just slip it in my pocket, and I very much dislike it. Anyway, welcome back to a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. Tom, um, it's National Chicken Parm Day. Yeah, buddy. And Bus Decker from JustCallMo.com. Did you see it? Chicken parm Did you see it? Uh, you, oh, you, ch- you want a There's, big chicken you parm? Is a regular chicken parm? Like, go, actual go get it. Uh, go get no, it. That'll help you. Go take a peek. Go take a peek. <laughs> Just go take a peek. Yeah, yeah, it'll, yeah, yeah. it'll help the bit. Right. Just go take what restaurant is it from again? It, uh, um, it's from, oh, God. Bus Decker. <laughs> Damn it's it. Fine. He, t- he told us, uh, we were like, okay. It's a good, no, it's a good one. It's one of the good ones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, see, we had an Italian check it out, and uh, oh, Mo has yeah. been uh, it's reviewing. Hot. It's still hot. It's still chicken hot. Chicken parm, uh, and then he's been bringing chicken parm to all media outlets. It looks like you just looked at porno. <laughs> <laughs> that's my go-to. Like if I go to a really? ton restaurant, I eat not good. It's chicken parm. Like, chicken parm is my fucking jam. That's your jam. I love it. Um, when was the last time you were fat? <laughs> <laughs> when he's playing arena football, I think yeah, that was the yeah. When you had your bleach blonde spikes, I was thick. <laughs> I was yeah, yeah. yeah, I was chubby for sure. Yeah, yeah, you were bigger there. But right? I was repping two twenty five for like fucking twenty five reps. Wow, yeah. wow. Back in the day, I threw a football wow. over the mountains. That's yeah. a lot, dude. <laughs> that was fucking. That is a lot. Yeah, yeah that's no bullshit. Fat guys are strong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth. But I was also on some fena, some cow hormones. <laughs> <laughs> is that the way you're shooting your thighs? <laughs> yeah, that was that time. Uh, yeah. That was that time. <laughs> Because <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the bottle literally said for feedlot heifers only. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there'd be more. Taking a heifer, said near the picture he of a fucking pig. <laughs> it went from steroids to now he's shooting himself up with <laughs> <laughs> a fucking anabolic cow arm. <laughs> <laughs> only oh one time though. God. Only one time. About that one time got me strong <laughs> yeah. for sure. <laughs> so uh, Seth, I got some uh, some parent advice for you. Um, uh-huh. So what, what are you what are you talking about? What now, are we doing here? What are you doing? Well, <laughs> we are at the point now, and I, I know it's different for everybody, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people are in my same boat where uh, yesterday, uh, I think yesterday or the day before, I got home from uh, work, and uh, I, I got home, and then um, I'm talking to uh, Crystal's sister because she was watching the boys. Crystal was showing a house. I've seen those videos. And um, then I hear the ice cream truck. And so every once in a while, the Castleberry what, ice cream what truck kind comes do you by. have? Because ours plays updated music now. Oh, that's lame. The, oh, it is lame. The old school stuff, man. They they no they. It's not. <laughs> 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 Thank you. That guy knows. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the old eighties. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I want. No, yeah. mine's like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's oh in my like, They play. He's driving that thing. It's like ha- ice cream house music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's got like a beat. It's updated. Yeah. It's like. Boom, 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 boom. So anyway, but I hear the ice cream truck. Tesla ice cream truck. And no, then, it's still diesel. Uh, it's still loud. And uh, both my sons, they get an hour of uh, a screen time a day. Yeah. They're on their screens. It's after school. And yeah, yeah. They're both, What's their jam? Were they Roblox? In? Yeah, Roblox or whatever. Does YouTube. every kid in the world play Roblox? By the how am. many kids are on? They're making money. Let me just. Uh, yeah, I'm going to find out. Continue, but I'm going to find out how many kids are on Roblox. Um, and pedophiles. Know, <laughs> how many pedophiles are on pedophiles. Roblox? Uh, uh, like, well, I'm just depending gonna put, on who you talk to. I'm it's gonna, a whole pedophile. <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there right now. If I were a pedophile. I would be on Roblox. Yeah, yeah. And and I tell my sons, don't let an old man suck your dick. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and they know. Yeah. Well, you got to. And you gotta, it's all good. You got to use the real words. Yeah. Don't, don't beat around the I mean, bush. I did start saying something. You know, and remember be- the conversation I had with Tom about like not calling a Lily yeah, yeah. or a, a PP? You got to call it a penis and a vagina. You got to uh, tough talk them so they know yeah. what's going on. If an old man pulls his penis out, you run the fuck away. Yeah, yeah. Tracy told me to be careful what I say in front of her because she's going to start repeating it. And I, was like, I, I was like, oh shit, yeah, you're right. 
He's like, so don't say that stuff. <laughs> you know, what so, have you been saying? Uh, and also, I need to toughen my sons up so uh, they, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, lock you in this room with uh, this old man. No, no, no run away I mean, from digital. <laughs> if they're, you know, if that's what I mean. In the game, it's yeah, if yeah. you're running from a digital they're, old man. <laughs> if they're running around with a digital <laughs> pedophile fun. Anyway, so um, they are on, they're playing their screens, and I hear the uh, the ice cream truck music. So I'm used to them getting super excited when they're young kids. They're growing the up. The ice cream truck was here, and these are run outside ice cream truck. Maybe and, they're growing up. And we go outside, and they pick the, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog ice cream. So then uh, simultaneously, Crystal's getting home uh, from work as the ice cream truck is going down our cul-de-sac. Nice. She runs in, pops in the door, thinking, <laughs> uh, just like me, like, like, hey, boys, ice cream truck is here. Yay. And they didn't even look up from their oh. iPads. Oh. And, and mom is home, too. We, you would think that that would be time is, Oh, that, that, that yeah. time is gone. Yeah, really? I thought ice cream was the last bastion of getting excited in their youth. And now screens oh. are officially more exciting yeah. or at least uh, better than ice Were cream. Were they locked into a game? Because sometimes if the screens are addicted to it, they'll do anything. <laughs> See, <laughs> they'll eating, steal your car radio, eating huh? like shit all the time, it's not exciting to them anymore. You, <laughs> you get them that once every. Not a bad two, argument. You get them that once every two weeks, and they're like, "Fuck yeah, I'm gonna eat some ice cream. And it's gonna taste amazing." I'm proud of you. That's not a bad argument. See, that's I like logic. that. Logic, not man. Not logic. Bad. So, me and Crystal were obviously disappointed because we were like, "What the hell? Well, it's you're not excited you about ice cream, them, right? It's hurting you more than them because you're seeing their youth slip away. So, Don't you dare tell me you did. Don't so, you dare tell me you did. So then, Crystal. Crystal had already tell or told the ice cream lady uh, that to stop, and she was going to go tell the boys. So then she had to go back out and tell the ice cream lady, like, "I'm sorry, my son's like screens more than ice cream now." Oh, that's embarrassing. And then she was like, "Oh man, these screens are ruining society because the ice cream truck lady's a little, you know, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she, she, yeah, she like storming it." Yeah. <laughs> she, you know, she's a, a, she's a lot of a people didn't know this, but on the grounds there was a highest, high, very high concentration of really good ice cream, <laughs> and then so. So they, they were talking about how the screens are ruining society. So then Crystal's so like, they're having a mom moment. Uh, I'm, so she's like, I'm going to buy two ice creams, and if they want it, I'm going to make them do something. Well, so I don't then, even uh, I don't even agree with that. And you know, I love your wife, so, but if they're not out there, you don't get no yeah, ice creams exactly. later. Bye, baby. No, no, no. Well, she bought so she bought two Sonics because uh, <laughs> that used to be their favorite. <laughs> and ever you see the guy that had the one that that it melted and it looks like Sonic smoking a cigarette? <laughs> Have you seen that? Yeah. Some of them melt the it's slow, Sonic slow. Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> and then so she comes in with the two Sonics and then she's like, uh, you boys can't have this unless you run a mile tonight. Oh, right. Uh, with wow. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, we're Yeah, yeah. He's making uh, Seth horny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because Crystal's been uh, training off and on with yeah, me, she too. Looks great. Oh, she has. And she has. Yeah. Yeah. She's been uh, yeah. biking, running. Yeah, yeah. Checking she out. looks good. I like yeah, to see she that. does look really good. I like to see that bike seat. Uh, <laughs> 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 sniff it. <laughs> I'll let you sniff it. <laughs> How much? <laughs> I'm not One free Raffle ticket. So yeah. give him three extra <laughs> raffles. I'll do, I'll three do. raffles. Three raffles for a uh, sniff. Three. What if you, you I'll you look, I'll send you a picture of my wife's bush for ten free tickets. <laughs> There's raffles. Give me ten raffles. I'll send you. I got a picture of my wife's bush on her phone right now. Really? I'll yeah. send it to you. You need yeah. more than bush. Yeah. 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 This pink, guy's a pink. How about pink? <laughs> How about bush and pink yeah, clothes? Kid, pink that's clothes. ten. That's ten <laughs> raffle tickets. Okay. okay. Bush and pink clothes. And three. Not, oh, not and, three and three for you. The V's for me. So anyway, Crystal's like, too much? We, we can't do it. So then mm-hmm. uh, fast forward and uh, it's like is ready to run. Right. So uh, wait a minute. That's a Dixie chick song. So we're like, you know, if you want this, uh, you you know, you want these ice creams, you got to run a mile. Are they even acknowledging her? Or are they still <laughs> in the screen? Do they <laughs> no, even that know ended, that there's that ice cream? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once the screens, once their, their addiction of the yeah, screens. It's like they, a spell. They come out of it. They're like, oh, yeah, there's like that ice cream. We'll do anything for this now. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's like if you just want like to destroy the ambulance and everything goes back to normal, right? So then somehow it got uh, degraded down to riding their bikes. It always does. Oh this God. is you guys. Now I'm kind of on. Like, you guys are so Jeez. nice to Tommy's your sons. Jeans. Stick to your word. And then I'm riding the one wheel because I'm like, I already You're exercised. Riding the- <laughs> I'm like, I already exercised today. I can't do it twice. Um, anyway, so oh, man. so then uh, so we're, we're, we're off around the block. So me and Tommy, we're like, yeah. I'm riding my one wheel. We're Tommy, earning it. We're 
we're earning it. Tommy decided to run, so he's running. We're jeans and, and a hoodie. Good for him. Good for him. <laughs> and uh, so me and Tommy are running first, and then so we run. So and then <laughs> Crystal and Max are hoodie. behind us. Running from, running from police. <laughs> police. <laughs> they all kids all do that, man. <laughs> hoodies and jeans, and it's hundred degrees outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I tell and Tommy, I'm like, they're too hot. He's like, I got used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, yeah, it is tougher. Seth is me? right. Every kid I see yeah. at Maisie School is like they're dressing hoodies. I'm so like, how do you do that? So I'm yeah. conflicted because I'm like, this is like would be a punishment in some other like if some boxing teacher was making the kid hey, run. Put your jeans <laughs> on. <laughs> and with a hoodie, hey, like, your hoodie in the heat, like that. That would be so. He's wanting to do this, so I'm like, because I want to make it easier, yeah. and I'm so I'm like, maybe this is better, right? Like this is what I want. Make it like hard as shit, yeah, running yeah. hot as fuck. I mean, you complain about grit. What do you want? <laughs> yeah, man? You don't even know what you want. You're all over the place. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so then me and Tommy are. Uh, like far ahead we can't see Crystal and Max we don't know where they are so like let's turn around and see where they're at so we go back and we see like down the street uh, Crystal and Max are off their bikes uh, now standing puking (laughs) standing (laughs) uh, and looking down at something in the middle of the road right and so we we get to them and we see that they're looking at a squirrel and uh, oh, so, God. so, uh, and Max is upset. He's the more emotional one. And Who's Ma- got the bike? And Max is like, we need to save the squirrel. You and ran it over with the one wheel. No, it is just some random squirrel that uh, is doing rough in the middle of the street. Oh, oh, and man. at first I was like, it's dead. And this is what happens. They're like, but it's not. They're tree rats. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to explain that it. thing where it's like, you I'm think like, it's dead and he goes, hey! <laughs> 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 so Max, so you're like, fuck, I <laughs> so, so I'm glad you so Max is like, I see it breathing. It's a tiny yeah. squirrel. Labored, labored. Hot. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, God, that's it's sucks. it's you got to put it out. I hate that. It's yeah. breathing yeah. like it's hyperventilating, like yeah. the guy from Terminator yeah. Two holding hold, the thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hold my lung. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's breathe, breathing like the black guy from Terminator yeah, yeah. Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so I look closely. I'm like, oh shit, it is. So I then, so then I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm like, listen, kids, because I'm oh, tr- the last thing I want to do after this is eat a fucking Sonic. So. Uh, I'm trying to. Te- I'm like, listen. I'm like, these things happen in in wildlife. It, they have, a, you know, they, it could have been Damn, hit by Andrew, a car. You're scary. It, it gets, you know, there's no like veterinarians don't take this uh, like squirrels. There's yeah. no like there's no place that takes these yeah. things. You uh, have to stomp its head. Out. <laughs> oh my God. I know that's hard, but like, you have to do it fast. So it doesn't. It's it doesn't, the samurai way. That's and, and decapitate. And, yeah, and then nice. Crystal. And then Max is like, "No, we have to try to save it." And then Tommy's indifferent. Oh, Max, you're so sweet, buddy. And so Crystal's like, Max she's, is she's so like, sweet. she's like, we should teach them to be, be compassionate. And, try, and I'm like, oh my God. Oh, so well, they, that could mean different things. So the, you can be compassionate in two ways. I mean, if you think <laughs> yeah, it can make it, that's compassion. And right. if you think it can't make it, that's also it's, compassion. Exactly. So so then. Uh, so then I was like, how about we just uh, get it over to the grass? Did you give a cigarette? Like, don't come out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, how about we just make its last couple yeah. hours comfortable? Yeah, yeah. Give it a cheese <laughs> slice, craft single. Give it a craft single yeah. and a cigarette. Yeah. Give it the Sonic. Put the Sonic on it. Let it melt. Let the Sonic melt down uh, the squirrel. Yeah, it's probably hot. So yeah. Yeah. Put the bubble gum in his mouth. Let it chew it. And, and then, uh, you know. Like, Put it on a raft in your pool. But, let it float around for 30 minutes. <laughs> you know, but it's like, what? there's no saving this. Like, I don't know, you know. What is how do you? Get yourself into this many shitty predicaments, <laughs> man. Seriously. So, so then Chris was like, "We have to teach them compassion, so that they're good men when they grow." <laughs> <Good> up. <men. laughs> and then, We're making good men. And, and then Max is like, "Come on, Dad, let's go get a uh, we need a, a card, a, 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 a gurney, a cardboard box, and then you and know, we'll make we, an ambulance out of it. We, like, we at least and we'll like, light it on fire. <laughs> no, we'll at least like you know, give it water and food, and see if we can nurse it back to health." Wait, wait, like, oh my god! Elaborate on how, but like, is its yeah. legs crushed? Is its Half did you body. take a photo? Just, did you tire? take a photo? It's just laying there. I should Your have, wife I should have taken a video. A so there's no. no squish marks. It's just no, no. It's, it's not. It's fucking gird. It's not, it's not squish. <laughs> Dying of gird. It's laying there, breathing like the guy from Terminator <laughs> Labor 2. Labor breathing. Labor, Labor breathing. breathing yeah. But just, but it's not scared of us. Like we get near it or whatever. It's just like well, it's, it's paralyzed like, it's because his <laughs> neck is broken. <laughs> you can yeah. only do is breathe and cry like the Metallica song <laughs> one. So, or, so or rabies, and they get friendly when they're. They, they, yeah, okay. Well, yeah, it is. It's dusk. It's like. <laughs> so, That's the beginning of uh, Metallica's one. So I, uh, me and Max, we 
get right back. I get on my one wheel. He gets on his bike. He's hauling ass. Like he's got ET. a purpose now. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, E.T. Like pedal. I love that. That's a good boy. And, That's a good man right there you're making. And then we get back to our house. And we get I get a cardboard box. And then oh, I... Oh, you got to get your marijuana teacher. Put it in his eyes. <laughs> drip it. Shen Latte oh. would approve. You got to drip it in his eyes and just like make it. At I'm least like, give him this. some relief. <laughs> you know, give him some relief. And, and then I... No, no CBD. THC only. I get a big metal uh, scoop. <laughs> like uh, yeah. with a handle, like shovel, a, like, like a, a dust shovel. No, 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 like a dust uh, uh, scoop, like a big metal dust. Oh, scoop. you know, a dust scoop. It's got a handle. You have, like that a much dust, you have that much dust in your house, and you're just scooping. Uh, it's for like, like dirt. Tools you have. <laughs> it's it's what is that? Like dirt so I went in my, uh, I went in my garage. I got a fucking it was the only scoop I had. <laughs> <laughs> I use it for leaves. Uh, I went in there and I got an old sickle. Dust so, scoop. Yeah, because so I'm like, like, it's like a dustpan with a handle. Oh, like like that. Thing? Yeah, yeah, but it's a metal one oh, that like, I use like, for leaves. Okay, like it's an old dust, school dust. It's a dust, dust pan. Dust yeah, pan. yeah. So then I get that in a cardboard box, and then we get back, and then uh, to the uh, squirrel. Yeah. And so now uh, I'm like, all right, how do I get the squirrel into this box? Should have gotten tongs. I have to. <laughs> Should have gotten the tongs I, we use for the elf of the shelf. A pooper, well, a pooper scooper. That's what I would do. How do we use my barbecue tongs for some disgusting uh, squirrel you that can has wash them. goddamn? You can wash them. You know, yeah, 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 but none of that stuff wears me out, man. <laughs> none of that stuff wears me out. Put it in the dishwasher, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, 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 but I'll use the goddamn leaf scoop. Uh, anyway, fine. if you want to scrape his guts, I thought the tongs you'd be able to peel them off easier. Well, it's not run over. It's just I could. It either fell out of a tree. Yeah. It somehow they're hurt. like cats. They they don't no <laughs> But it, so I walk over to this squirrel and is. And as I get closer, it starts more wildly breathing. <laughs> and then well, it, it's scared and it can't move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're probably afraid, freaking it out. Way it, more. It's afraid you're going to eat it. I would imagine. Yeah. So my family is standing like uh, five feet away, and then I have a cardboard box <laughs> and a dust scoop. And, and you're terrified. All, all the neighbors, <laughs> <laughs> which uh, I'm terrified. And I, I haven't been <laughs> drinking alcohol, so I'm, I'm dosed up. <laughs> so, Are um, you drunk? No. No, no, not drunk. I haven't been drinking. I have been, but uh, THC. THC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a healthier alternative. Uh, <laughs> I misunderstood. I thought you. It's meant, medicine. Uh, I thought you, meant you had, gave it to me. <laughs> I know you're not drinking. Neither of us are. But I thought you hadn't been drinking. You're like tonight. I chose a dose. No, I, I no, 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 no. So that causes you to be more scared. Little paranoid. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can. Yeah. It, it makes you. It doesn't feel, make you tougher. <laughs> it makes you feel. Yeah. It can make you feel. So you probably, yeah, for yeah. one of the only times you identified the labored breathing, you were feeling something. But your anxiety. Spikes, it yeah. just, uh, just all the, yeah. were all the neighbors like watching, like what's happening. Right I don't now? know, I mean, their windows, I'm sure. No one's outside anymore, yeah, <laughs> but, they're like the vans are out there trying to save some shit bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, I've determined from exercising in the neighborhood and running around and all the shit that everybody's yeah. indoors now. No, There's it's no- North Korea, fake <laughs> out, <laughs> like, yeah, no a fake. Whole Everybody's just in their yard, their house. Yeah. Uh, never go go outside. Like not they, here. I feel like people used to be out in the front yards. See, like, here it's, kids. Well, it's too many people here. Yeah, yeah, I get yeah. sick of the people around here. Well, yeah, but you got a safe like uh, like a cookie cutter oh, yeah. standard white neighborhood. Yeah, I, got the white yeah. I think in Castleberry, everybody's like looking out their blinds, <laughs> <laughs> scared. Well, honestly, to answer that, it's older. Uh, it's an older neighborhood with older people, and older people stay inside. There's your answer. What of all my neighborhood? I think your neighborhood's older. No, no, I just. Uh, uh, you know, it's a lower not middle a lot class. Of kids. <laughs> not a lot of kids, though. Yeah, yeah. I, no, well, no. There's kids. No kids go outside anymore. Really? In my oh. neighborhood, like that's not. That's what I'm saying. You had to bribe your kids to go out on the bike. That was just us. We well, wanted to, to go out on the bike and do stuff, and then you had to bribe them to do it. It's, you've yeah, got you've right. got parks down the street, and like, that's true. We don't like, have none of that. You know, what I'm saying? the apartment. Complex, Why are you still living true. where you're living anyway? Like what? Oh, <laughs> that's that's a a there, I'm like everybody. I got locked in the 2.5. Yeah. Why would you get out? I'm gonna die in this house. Uh, 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 All right, so, so I want to know what happened with this fucking anyway, squirrel. Anyway, so the squirrel, as okay, so I go up to it with the dustpan, and I'm trying to scoop underneath it, mm. and not trying to break his little squirrel feet. Uh, oh. You know, like, is it dried to the concrete? No, 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 it's there. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so I there like, and I'm just okay, come, on, come on, buddy, come on. <laughs> and then I'm like, I have the box behind it, and I'm like trying to scoop underneath it. And as I just start to touch its tiny squirrel feet, it's 
it jumps up, <laughs> scares the living shit out of me, uh, which causes my family to laugh that I'm scared <laughs> of this a tiny squirrel. It runs uh, over to the like worse in the middle of the street. Oh yeah, and then I turn and I'm like, it's fine, let's go. That's what I did like, too. I'm like, this thing, yeah. if it ran, it's like when you poke a frog and it hops, you're like, yeah, he's alive, yeah. he's good. Yeah, it yeah, just yeah. sleeps with his eyes open. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time to move on. I, like it, like it has yeah. the strength, the internal strength inside. Our our well, version, turtle strength. Yeah, <laughs> our addition to this tale has ended. We're going home. And, and uh, so then they finally negotiated with me to scare it to the grass because they determined that the grass was safer for it. As so I scared well, it to the grass, and nah, then lots of snakes and shit in there. And then one hundred percent it died. There. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, and then we left and then I told my sons a lie that I'm like it's you good got, now <laughs> and then Max is like I'm so proud of you dad I'm like oh thank you <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> he went to sleep saying like I'm so my proud my dad's my hero <laughs> yeah, he's like you saved that squirrel today I'm, I, and he's like I'm proud of myself <laughs> and then I'm like alright he said he was proud of himself and I'm like well you really didn't do anything <laughs> I'm like hi what was the dustpan man <laughs> was dustpan. and then you just stood there with uh, your uh, mom and brother and didn't really do much. And, uh, anyway, but uh, he, in his mind... Uh, Dustpan you know, Man. So, Dustpan Man. So now he will forever believe that uh, we he saved a squirrel You know I day. carry a lot of should, your lies. Should I tell you him the truth? You make me carry a lot of your lies, dude. What the fuck you, was the point of your story telling me you have some advice for? What advice came out of that he, story he just, from no he No, he was asking oh. for our advice. He oh, thought he said he has some advice for Oh, me. yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the advice. But... Don't Lie let your, your daughter kids? ever look at a screen. <laughs> and oh, I think you could do it. Oh, you're yeah. anti screens? Don't if you if you have the ability now to yeah. raise her screenless right. in a society it's been so addicted far. to screens. Well, I mean she's little little. Here's the hard part. When they get to like uh, preschool and stuff, yeah. and all, the, all their friends are going to have screens, yeah. and then they're going to she's going to beg you for a screen. I'm but say, hold tight yeah. and maybe you could be the anomaly in this world. I would like to see world. the anomaly. You know, yeah. I'm, and that's me being serious. I, I, I can't. I don't, even, do I don't even a joke right now because I honestly would like to see what a now, kid with no screens would be like. Well, here's the problem: you will horribly hinder her ability to operate in our world. Uh, right, so right. there's that. She that becomes way. like Nell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You become like Nell. Yeah, yeah. And You're, then the other kids are on their screens tapping the buttons, and then you and working. Chicken pie, chicken pie, shit, that's some chicken pie. Because remember that movie no, I don't with Jodie Foster. What Nell? was called? Nell? Nell. Oh, my God. So. You don't want to raise Nell. Then she's living in the woods on a rock naked, and the guy's, like, oh conflicted. God. Yes, because unfortunately, you, everybody in the world will use their uh, screen to operate and uh, work with. Well, and to navigate. Do, yeah, a lot of times, you're in work. Uh, I would work. just do what you're kind of doing. I would just be allotted time, like, 45 minutes a day or an hour a day or an hour every couple of, I don't know. It would be like that. Like, a little bit every day. Not all the time, whatever you want. Here's the problem. Never Eat. at dinner. Never when we're eating. Because my nephew doesn't, it drives me nuts. We, even a little we do that fit, one. Even a little fentanyl. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll get We you. do that one, but I will say that, you know, if Maisie's been dancing a lot and she's been like, like she wants it the time, sometimes I find myself slipping and being like, she's like, can I have it during dinner? I'm like, okay. Really? You know? oh, yeah. No. Dinner yeah. time where we like. No, 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 because she eats at different times. Because, like, me and Andrew will eat together, and she'll be done at dance at 8, and then she'll eat. Here's the, and then the, she wants to do it. Well, while you got she, a broken family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, well, I mean, like, no, but she's always dancing. Like, it's, yeah, no, it's always know, a thing. But the, the problem is that, yeah, you, you limit to an hour a day. It's the best thing in the world. You, it's like I was just, because uh, back to the ice cream thing. Yeah. I, was, I started thinking. I was like, imagine telling a, a kid from the 1950s, an eight year old, that uh, in the future, in 2024, eight year olds will like these miniature TVs with unlimited games on them more than ice cream. And then I was laughing to myself because I'm sure they would be like, yes, I'd like that too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's even, better than ice cream. I was going to say, even the way you're describing, I'm like, that sounds yeah, yeah. fantastic. And then it dawned on me. I was like, it is better than ice cream. I'm uh, like, it, it's. Got it because it is designed to be addictive. All these games are designed to be addictive. They're fucking casino games. Yeah, I and, and, like, and like so. What? So even an hour a day, if you limit it, it's still the best shit that ever they've ever seen. Yeah. And they're always going to be thinking yeah, about it. It's still and the, they're going to be uh, living their life for that hour. It's the micro reward system yeah, yeah. that they get sucked into. I'm, yeah. I'm doing it myself. Like uh, last night, we've been watching Game of Thrones, and then and Chris is like. You ought to just scroll TikTok instead of 
the, an episode of Game of Thrones today? I'm like, yes, I do. These are so oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you I, guys had a conversation about that? Well, uh, be, because I was like, scrolling seems more entertaining than Game of Thrones God, right now. I'm not, I'm not in, I'd rather lay quiet than scroll. Yeah, yeah. Abby, but I'm, 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 sure. I'm, I scroll, but like, I usually. the only downtime I have, I'm always like, go, go, go. I do enough of it, and then for some reason, I get, I, I don't know if I overload on it or. But I've curated, I've curated the best algorithm uh, possible of stuff that I'm only interested in, and it gives me only stuff I'm interested in. I see a lot of over and like over. repetition, and I'm just like, ah, yeah, yeah. like I don't know. Are you on TikTok? Mm-hmm. On everything. Like I'm uh, on Reels. I'm on Reels. Oh, well, Instagram, the algorithm is not as good. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> I, I, it doesn't right, matter to me. Too. Like, yeah. I don't even care. Like, I get on TikTok. I've then, gotten my friends addicted to And TikTok. then I'm just being force-fed all these different things, and I'm just not, I can't. Yeah. No, but you're not using the algorithm right. you got to search only the stuff you're interested in. Well, you don't in. understand. I don't care. <laughs> well, you're not interested in anything? <laughs> no, I'll find it on my own. I'll just, I'll just go to a computer and just go like, oh, type in there, find the thing I want, and read an article about it. I read articles. I'm old man. Oh, yeah, Dude, I, got, I, got, I can't do it. It's like it hurts me to do it. It's like more exhausting. Like I'm just eh, eh, I'm like I'd rather go like, oh, I want to learn about like for instance, I wanted to learn about the largest um it's the largest crane. They just fired it up. It's called Chessie. And it's the largest crane, and they're gonna in uh, for that bridge accident. Yeah. They're gonna use it to move all the debris, and it's like this badass crane. It's like the biggest crane. Mm-hmm. It can lift over a thousand tons or something like that. And I wanted to learn more about it being a, a modern marvel. So rather than like watching a video, I just typed in the name of it and then found like a Wikipedia page, and I just read all about it. Wikipedia. <laughs> I know. I'm a double man. No, you site, uh, search largest crane on TikTok, and then you have endless videos no, but I don't of all do. the cranes. I'd rather just read the. Th- uh, I'd rather uh, just read it. The best videos in the world, curated by the world with hive intelligence. Oh, sorry, it's for the you. largest on the eastern seaboard. Yeah, thank you, Shredbear. Shredbear must have been reading the same article. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I just read the. I'd article. rather see road rage turning to death on. My <laughs> no, I do. See, that's where I get into. It gives like, you everything I you want. It for news. I'll read my news, but yeah, I'll watch like I like silly stuff on TikTok or, or Reels, yeah. like, and that's all I share. Is like the the one I share the most now is the Arnold Schwarzenegger singing all these different songs. Ah. it's like somebody did it, I believe, with AI, or it's a guy doing a really good impression. It's like Arnold Schwarzenegger singing the Reading Rainbow theme song, mm, and it's fantastically song. funny. But I like it for stuff like that. But I just I don't know. I get yeah. exhausted of it. Tires me out. After like thirty minutes of it, I feel like I just ran a mile for sure. It's like, oh my god! Yeah, it tires fall. me oh, out too yeah. much. My We're eyes like, hurt. My brain hurts. Reading like, oh. is easier for me to do, and I can like I feel like I'm still getting the info. But like using my eyes to download that much video, yeah, 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 maybe you've said this before. I don't think I'm engineered to do that. I do enough screens here, like on my own, looking at these dumb screens. I'm it, sick of fucking screens when I get home, man. Yeah, yeah. It just it, it it's gotten to the point, and I, I've talked to uh, other influencers this week about it. Like you know, people think. That we are have endless amounts of podcasts and other like shows to consume or whatever, but also just scrolling is primary. Like most of America's entertainment has become just scrolling right. reels and mini videos and shit. So but I think it's made our entertainment a-, a matter less though, because like think about the way we consume. Like even you guys, if you were watching Game of Thrones, do you have your phones out at all, or do you have a rule about that? Because most people when they watch TV, they have one eye on the TV. TV, one eye on their phone, yeah, so yeah. you're not really paying uh, attention to TV, and you're not really paying attention to your phone. Unless I'm like, really watching something, my phone's off on the side. It seems sure. it seems fractured to me. It seems of course, like, I, I agree. It's, 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 it's not yeah. good. I'm just telling you the reality. <laughs> you know, that's how you was good, <laughs> or what you should do. Uh, you know, do whatever you want. I'm just saying what the reality is: <laughs> is people are just scrolling uh, reels, yeah. and so uh, basically, there's no way to escape having your kid at least have some screen time because you're going to hinder her. Or him, if you don't, I think that's the right answer. It's gonna yeah. ruin him if you do. Too I think that's. The, I think that's the real answer. Is there's yeah. no way out. Yeah, there isn't. If there is yeah. a. I know we joke around about it, and I'm not making a joke right now. But there is a reason why the catchphrase on the political shirts and on the stickers is "nothing can be done." That's tongue in cheek too. I mean, there is a little bit of truth in that. Yeah. There's also a, 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 like it's also a huge joke because <laughs> obviously we can do whatever we want to do. We can be as positive and and help people as you know. Like yeah, of course you can do good things for people. Like yeah, I'm yeah. not. A negative person, but yeah, with this one, I think it is a bit of a nothing can be done scenario. Mm. Because how do you go backwards? How do you put the toothpaste back in the tube? 
Yeah, there is. A, you know, and and and, and mm-hmm. Cri- Crystal. I don't know if you can. Yeah, I don't think you. Can. Crystal's uh, talked about like not getting the boys uh, like actual phones that are hooked up. I mean, they got an iPad and our old phone, uh, but it's not hooked up to anything. Right. Like you know, yeah, amazingly, has one. On I mean, Wi-Fi. they can't call for. It. They just can use the internet. They can't. Call yeah, yeah, yeah. They just use Wi Fi. Um, yeah, yeah. And for only the you know their games or whatever, they can't going go on, the on Safari. They can't go on the internet. No, no, no. Um, God, we're getting close with that. Amazing knows what Safari is, and I had to have. Andrea go in there and lock it down. She hasn't searched anything oh, bad, yeah. but she knows exactly what Safari is. Ugh. And she respects us enough she hasn't been on it yet, but I, del- I like, you can't delete it, but I hit it and locked it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's getting there. One it's, it's, search away. Yeah. From oh my God, the, dude, it's so close. From taking uh, your kids in. I'm <laughs> terrified. What, uh, what iPhone do you think Vera's going to get? Like, what number? I have a third. Wait, I have the 15. What's, what, what iPhone are we up to right now? I have no idea. I have the latest one. 15? So, I have the latest one. I think it's 17 now. 18? I'm no, a dumb old no. man now. The oh, chat room will tell us. Is it past 20? Is it past 20? No. The chat room will tell us. No. I don't know. I, I I thought we were on 15 or 16. I think 15. I think I have the, la- yeah. I have the latest one. Oh, Me too. You get the big one? Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. I, I, what are you saying? Which one? Like, well, I'm not saying by her age, what age would it? Because everyone gives, parents give their kids their old phones. Like, my nephew has like a seven or eight or something like that. And yeah, Maisie like, has my mom, my dead mother's phone, which is really oh. creepy. Mm. And that's the what I call it. Like, is, if her friends come over, like her friend will come phone, over. Phone talks or anything? No, no. Her friends will come over. I'll be like, oh, that's your, uh, that's my dead mom's phone <laughs> that you're playing with there. But she, um, yeah, she has that and she just uses it to like text us and stuff right. in the house. Mm. Or she'll take it on a field trip to take pictures of the zoo. Oh, that's a new thing. On field trips now, they allow kids to take their phones. Uh, so they can take pictures or, 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 or emer- emergencies? It's so they can take pictures and shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I think. No on the, that's not the official stance. That anybody told me, <laughs> but where Crystal went on uh, Tommy's last uh, St. Augustine field trip, and she <laughs> told me she's like the school allows the kids to take their phones. So uh, and it was she's like this is vastly different than Max's field trip was a year before, which they didn't allow the kids, yeah. and they, the bus was screaming the whole time, and this bus was quite as shit going down the road with yeah. every kid looking at their fucking locked phone, in, yeah. locked in their phone, all obey, day. obey. They're, yeah, they're, that's on us because we don't want to hear him scream or be lazy and have him do something else. Like don't. Let him have it and just have him like. Well, what you do is you spend. Little, scream. Let him scream. <laughs> and let him scream. That, but again, that's on us. Deal with the fucking. You shit. pump a little money into education, and just like any shitty jet blue, you put a TV on the bus in front of each kid so they uh, can do the same thing, uh, but it's monitored. They're not sitting there looking yeah, at yeah, Pornhub. Yeah. Yeah, no, they don't want some old shitty TV. <laughs> or well, but I'm just saying, you could have done something to distract them, uh, you know, but you didn't. No, but the phone, you just take, bring your phone from home. They all have one. Not every single one every kid. I bet there's some, a couple of poor old kids on there that don't have no phone. They're sad Ooh. as fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. They steal Tommy's phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't do nothing Give me about that. it. <laughs> yeah, it's just there. All right. I have the ticket. <laughs> just like my old man. <laughs> I don't even need this. <laughs> I'm engineered for this, motherfucker. You don't even joke's on you. All right, let's take a break. Uh, when we come back, we got some voicemail and email. We got a lot of voicemails and emails. Plus, um, I would urge you guys to send more. We, I, I want to do more of that because it sends us in these weird tangents. You know, we've kind of been talking with people and taking uh, some of your information. And some of the best topics we ever get are emails and things that you guys send us. So if you have an email, show at tomadan.com or if you want to call us 1-844-T-O-M-N-D-A-N. We will take a little bit of a break. I got more punk rock, too. Did you know that today, No Effects put out a brand new album entitled Half Album? We will be playing the lead single from that called I'm a Rat. Uh, it's good, but I'm, I'm thinking this will be it. These were, the, these were the last five songs that they had from um, the 2018 release that they did. I forget okay. the name of the album. Single album, maybe it was called, or, full, or double album? Double album? But these were like the last uh, ones that they did not like. So uh, we're going to get... Oh, they said that? They're like, here's some songs. Yeah, <laughs> these are the worst like. five. Yeah, they like tweeted it out. They're like, here are the worst five that we have. So here we go. This is this is not No Effects. We're not starting with No Effects. The name of this band is Crumb. It's an interesting track. I'm trying to give you guys like different and weird stuff. This is Crumb. The name of the song is Amama. We'll be right back with more A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan momentarily.
Streamline Mortgage at StreamlineFlorida.com. Brian Zymel's cell phone number is on the front page yep. behind the Tom and Dan logo. You could text him or call him anytime. He'll answer any questions. Yeah, it's uh, he will do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If he knows you're a listener or a BDM, he will Yeah, do- throw that in there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it does help. I mean, please, yeah. uh, we want you. We may be the only radio show and podcast in the existence of them. We really do want you. And you guys listen. You do tell our sponsors, like, hey, yeah, just so you know, we, we heard you from Tom and Dan. Yeah, yeah. That is the he'll, single greatest thing you can do for us. And he'll give you better service if he knows you're Indeed. a BDM or a listener. Because it gets back to us. It <laughs> yeah, really, yeah, yeah. like, we hear from, like, clients. They'll be like, yeah, hey, we got some guys come in today. So maybe you're thinking about, uh, you know, buying or selling your home. Mm-hmm. You're wondering about mortgage rates and what he thinks about when they're going to change. And the, the whole thing is be prepared. So because if they do change, then the market's going to get flooded. And then now you're going to be paying extra for your house because... Because there's going to be, uh, you know, an insane amount of people interested in our houses all of a sudden, sure. right? So uh, people complain about it on Reddit all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in, when that happens, then you lose your edge. Uh, so prepare and maybe move a little beforehand and maybe refi later. Just get a plan together with Brian Zymel. He'll help you out. He's helped hundreds of BDMs and listeners out. Yeah, and I know that's coming from us, the two guys that never prepare. Well, we're turning <laughs> yeah, over yeah. a new leaf, okay? We're yeah, preparing. Yeah, yeah it'll, it's the best business decision you're going to make uh, with anything with mortgage. It's StreamlineFlorida.com. And I put myself in that trap. And I'm happy about that. Oh, there you go. little uh, brand new No Effects. I'm a rat off of the Half Album EP. Welcome back to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. TheDangerBrain.com. If you need any branding, they've been doing our branding for 15 years plus. Uh, we both have on, without even knowing it, we are both actively wearing Danger Brain designs. Yep. They Medium br- design. You got a Sofa and Suds 2023 shirt on. Yep. They brand our events, um, our new BDM logos. And if you want them to brand anything that you do or your rebrand for your company. Or just con- like if you just want to ask them to consult your brand and see yeah, if yeah. it's going to work. I mean... Uh, reach out to him. Do great work. Uh, TheDangerBrain.com. I was just telling Seth that uh, I was talking to Jesse Wolf uh, when we had him in yesterday. Mm-hmm. And uh, we were discussing... Like, Never seen you guys in the same room. <laughs> videos mm-hmm. of... Uh, or like internet videos, like the sort of the reels and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And he was like, you ever notice the, the videos that have like someone talking? It'd be like Neil deGrasse Tyson or a podcaster or whatever or whatever. And then split screen. And then underneath it will be the car that's jumping. Some game I've never I, even I seen. I am becoming <laughs> the dumb old man because I sort of know what you're talking about. But I am not in this world. It's it's just when a, you explain these things, I you've never seen how, this. I don't think I have. Um, the, I know what you're it's talking. It's not that specific one, but I've seen where they just do a random clip and somebody's doing something, talking and stuff like that, like just a yeah, yeah. But it'll be a split screen, and then there'll be a game that looks like a car that's jumping from like pl- platform to platform, and then it's like tumbling down or whatever. Yeah, so, rad racer, rad racer, or it's, it's some game. Why that's are you like, watching that? And, like because it's addicting. He's sucked into. He's well, like, uh, they why. <laughs> like I never even understood why they were splicing that video with a podcast or an interview or someone talking. Or EJ whatever. is saying that it's uh, a clip from GTA Five. Okay, um, for some video game, and uh, and so I'm like, but why are they doing that? And he's like, they've realized that the human psychology, you're more apt to stick with a video if simultaneously you're listening to someone or whatever and something visually is happening that uh, attracts your attention so combined they've realized that those videos get higher analytics so you watch these so it's not, not, not or do that you I watch reject them, them? I, well, you I, instantly have to reject it. They'll be like, "Out, oh, damn spot, get out of here." Well, it's just scroll. Like sometimes I'll be listening to what the podcaster or Neil deGrasse Tyson says, but I'm like, "Why the fuck is the car flipping in the bottom?" Like, why? The, but that's and so. Why don't you just experiment and try doing that with one of your? your well, that's what Jesse told us. I, I don't, don't want to. Do, I have no interest in that. And he's like, "That'll have me at the bottom doing a kata." 
But then what are we? Podcast. Then what are we fishing for, right? Like, what is for it? attention? Views, that's for views. That's all. You that's know, the currency like, of the internet. I understand. But Sell what, your soul, but man. But it's a nothing. It's like literally, like to me, that's the game. I think it's crazy that you would even spend a second of that because if you're a logical person, why would you even want to ingest that with your eyes? Mm. Well, it's because it's tricking you. It's tricking, it's not tricking humanity. Me. I don't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not tricking the. I'm non. I'm untricked. <laughs> I <laughs> do not know what you're talking about. You've never gotten that. I don't think I know what you're talking about. Um. I, well, it may be just because I like uh, maybe. Is it I'm a consuming... TikTok thing? Is it not on Reels? Um, it's maybe more on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a TikTok. Yeah. Thing. See, like I'm not. And I'm I know not people anti, understand I'm not anti what I'm TikTok. Oh, they they absolutely know what you're talking about. Yeah. I'm just saying, like I like why watch it. Like, because you're smart enough to actively know, I'm not going to fall for that and get the fuck out of here. Well, be, and get the, those people should be shamed for doing that. But it's not even. It's but, not authentic content. It's a nothing. It's it's digital garbage. If there's an. It's if you're no, if you're fishing for people with just something that's attention, then it's a nothing. No, but it's a it's a it's also a clip of Neil deGrasse Tyson talking about something interesting. Yeah, but because they tried to trick you, it has zero value. To me. <laughs> well, it's still him talking. Me, it doesn't matter. It's zero <laughs> value to me because you're trying to trick me. Well, I didn't you're realize to inflate the numbers, so I don't want to do business with you. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, well, get I, the fuck out of here. I just never understood why they were doing that, but it it, it gets me to a big uh, like. The bigger um, point I'm trying to make is that if if the attention and the likes, or at least the, ten- the how long you look at something, is the currency of the internet, then everybody's striving for whatever will get the most attention, right? And with that comes everybody will be making the content that is the most addictive. So, or the most, like, you know, I think get the most to, attention. Don't you have to, at some point, don't you have to reject that and be like, well, it has no value. So all we're doing is we're all trying to be the mo- the best at something that's meaningless. That's meaningless. Right. And I don't want to do that. Well, So it'll swing back the opposite direction where there'll have to be some sort of authenticity to it to really and truly give it value. But value to uh, value is subjective. So it, it you, is, you but watch, not if you're tricking me, it's not. But you'll watch uh, videos of dogs, dog I will, videos. I right? will watch those. And they're doing that too. You just they're using There's the, not the, one dog video I watch <laughs> where the people take a the, dog but, that I'm looking at and simultaneously put videos that don't make sense <laughs> just to make me watch it. Well, I'm not saying they're doing that, but they're doing something that's getting people to watch them more than the other dog the videos. Dogs have like a big wiener. <laughs> so, the whatever they're doing, like Eve Jesse's told me, the, they're, they're all in, learning these little tricks because guess what? It's just like evolution. The tricks that work and get the most vi- the views. Oh, your baby's hey, here. Hey, look at this. Hey, Tracy, I how are you doing? I, I wanted to surprise you. you and show you. Super <laughs> surprised. He doesn't meet Vera. We're in a heated I don't uh, want to mess I don't want to mess with the, with the <laughs> no, 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 Look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, I want to talk about nonsense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. We're just kicking it around. Oh my god. I'm like I'm shaking right now a little bit. What are you like, shaking for? Right? I don't know. Like a little there's a baby in here. I love babies. <laughs> I'm triggered by this baby. Uh I, that oh, well, that's what they'll do. They put a baby in the videos oh, well, whatever this triggers you. Oh my god. You are so beautiful. Hi. Hi. Let me Look hold that you. baby. Oh my God! What a I, I Look at this baby. Wait, uh, dis- san- sanitize your hands. Yeah, yeah. You gotta clean yourself. No kissing. Look at, look at that. Hands cute. Hi. Okay, as long as your hands are clean. You're so sweet. Yeah, maybe oh I my God, dude, that is a beautiful. <laughs> Congratulations! I didn't watch it from oh the dead squirrel. Oh my God, I don't know precious. what kind of uh, sickness I have. Oh my God, the chat room is freaking melting. This is how you get the numbers. Put the baby on. <laughs> look at you how beautiful it? she is. Hi, girl. Look so at how you doing, Tracy? Smiling, smiling. smiling at her daddy. She's a big smiling. Come on, let me put her mic on. See if she can say anything. Here, let's bring that. How up you doing, here. Tracy? I'm good. It's how are very you? good to see you. How you been? So, uh, how's the baby now? <laughs> uh, five, months five, months? five months next week. Five months. Next week, yeah. Um, I can't even tell you had a baby. Oh, um, uh, yeah. That's, that uh, is, other uh, women should learn from you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, it took my wife a while to uh, Oh, bounce Andrea's back never bounced back. I mean, <laughs> that's my, been... It's my diet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for she us... She did the work. It's my diet. For, uh, us, yeah. it was, for us, it was literally... Lots of working uh, out. The baby and then the whole factory fell apart. <laughs> it was, it was yeah. like a Chinese yeah. firework factory yeah. fire. It may have to do more with age than that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It has a lot to do with and I thought I went young, but you gotta go real young. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought I went young, but you gotta go super Yeah, you gotta young. go Game Stop. of Thrones young. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta have a crossbow. <laughs> uh, you have so, a crossbow. So anything unexpected uh, with uh, the baby that you weren't prepared for? Um, 
Um, <laughs> oh, right. sorry, baby. Sorry. Yes, dumb questions. <laughs> Daddy. Oh. Uh, not really. That, I mean, I kind of had expectations I, because I helped my sister raise her knees whenever she was born. So, okay. So I like yeah. kind of knew a little bit, but yeah. I didn't. I guess I didn't realize like how much like I would give for her. Like I would kill for her. Oh, like, in a yeah, 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 that happens. <laughs> and do you yeah, feel yeah. like? Because I'm fascinated by this. Do yeah. you feel like that's not something that's in, you're? It's like literally not a controllable thing. Yeah. It's like you grew Absolutely. her and you did this thing. And oh, the best thing is to realize you'll kill your own dogs for her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you'll talk about good. <laughs> Just oh, admit it. Andrea, Andrea knows her, like, one time yeah, sees yeah. her bit, uh, and, Maisie, and she has a little scar there. And it's the only time that I knew Andrea would literally snap his neck, like Jason Voorhees. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that for when Crystal had to admit it's that sexy. She'd, she'd kill Lena for it's Tommy. Sexy. And I was like, oh, <laughs> 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 it makes me a psycho. <laughs> but I was like, I thought you loved Lena more than you, and then you realized, oh, um, so and then and then your husband you realize that uh, it, like she's more important than anybody. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh yeah. No, no, no. yeah like <laughs> if he were burning alive in a car, you could only save one. You would just stand there and watch him burn. Yeah, yeah. You'd have to. You'd That's have to do it. Yeah. It's just the thing you do. Yeah. So how so yeah. how yeah, sleep? <laughs> yeah. How sleeping? It's not that bad. It's about like six to seven hours. At first, it was absolutely awful. Like she was waking up. Obviously, you have to wake them up every two hours so that they can eat, and cool. that was really rough like considering somebody who needs to sleep at least 10 hours a day <laughs> like that was bad i was so sleep deprived it was just i was grumpy it was yeah, just rough going through mama's. everything my whole body hurt has breastfeeding been okay uh, what are you pervert it's a it's kind of a rough thing to do like it's really demanding like yeah, just yeah. having to like be on top of it, like on the pumping and feeding. Just like, quit and go to formula. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't God, let Seth hard. tell you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's all good, the same. Yeah. There's. I've looked at the studies because my wife was crying every night. She's like, it won't produce enough. She's all the Isn't milk. That? The milk Nazis yeah. are telling I hate her that. you're it's not really a rough. you're it's not a ton a, of pressure and like, you're not a real mom unless you uh, all like, breast uh, milk and then she's yeah. crying and I'm like, just I looked yeah, yeah. it up on the internet. It's all the same. There's no like physically, but like mentally. Like it's fucking awful. It is. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a lot, especially whenever you're not pumping enough. They're like, "Oh, you don't need to like stress over it. Like stress will decrease your supply." And then like it's like, "Well, I'm her main food source. Like I can't help but stress." And then it's just an ongoing cycle. If not, the baby will starve. Me. <laughs> 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 uh, it's it's I'm you a all the same. Bump, secret fist bump. Yeah, like, there's. Uh, it is. Yeah, it's fine. I give Maisie Slim Jims. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She is killing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm excited Who's for fun? her to like. Like start being able to eat solids, so it's not as bad of a demand. And that's the uh, to me, honestly, like not to baby out at the end of the show, but that's my most fun part was when you're giving them, hey, try this, try yeah. this, try this, and then yeah. ah, it's just so fun. Every dinner was fun. Plus, ah, I'm so happy for you. I guys. really can't wait to like stop pumping and like breastfeeding because like I really just want to smoke joint. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I've never thought about uh, that. Yeah, you could do that, Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> totally fine. I'll show yeah. you all of society yeah, yeah. that's doing Look at that. Well, it's killing it. I yeah. bet his mom smoked a couple uh, of things. I don't want to. Take she could have been smoking anything. You yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want it so I don't get squirted in the face. Is that bad? Is that what if you're? Uh, what if did I? I'm joking. Put, did I, I put know. that into Maisie because I was uh, drinking and smoking when I was pumping my wife? No, I was drunk no, after Santiago's no. Bodega's brunch. No, no. The I man, think I pumped her in the car behind Santiago's. We don't have to change our lives at all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you guys have it easy. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a yeah. great punchline. <laughs> it is amazing, uh, Tracy. I'm sure you've thought about this, that you had to create this baby. Yeah, and teach all, all of his classes <laughs> so he can go get his dude noodle. <laughs> <up> his <laughs> like you're, you're doing all, <laughs> you're yeah. doing all the work. You're doing all the work. Are you teaching all of his classes so he can go get his dude noodle? Oh, my God. I'm yelling at her. Sorry. I'm yelling at her. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. oh no! Were you loud? Oh, I'm surprised you guys aren't doing the cloth diapers because uh, Daniel got I, out of that. No, I did not. I said I wanted to, and it was not feasible. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Where are we quiet? It's made me hungry. Hung- oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, Put that uh, in. So there. here's the big question that I'm sure all the, uh, uh, your friends have been asking you. 
when's number two coming? Oh, fuck that. I need the number two right now. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I've been uh, holding one the whole show. Uh, you oh, you no. say that now because it's still soon, but then yeah. all of a sudden you give it a year He's or so. Italian. He's going to want yeah. like five. I did, when I was younger, oh. I wanted like four. Five, yeah, and then, When you, I was like 20s. I, uh, but yeah. now? And, and Considering then, then, I almost died like giving birth, I, I don't know if I want yeah. to do Yeah, but then I you forget that. that <laughs> yeah. I was going to avoid that part, yeah. Because it's it is dangerous, too, you know, like, and it's scary. Oh, you 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 sad? She's in a new spot. She's going. She wants to be with her mom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, she's just, just, just <laughs> the whole chat room wants to be with his her mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that uh, that's inappropriate? Uh, yeah, the uh, I, it, just let the mom take care of the baby. <laughs> that's what yeah. I've learned. I, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do a lot of stuff. For yeah. Okay, what do you do? Tell He's us a what great you do. Dad. Thank Are, you. Okay, Thank you. Get, why is Very he a great dad? Because he watches her so that I can go work out and go get <laughs> her nails done and do things for me. He's the one that's watching her. He pays our babysitter. Oh, <laughs> so, I've seen those so videos. He, so he throws money at me. Every time I'm pumping I like and I can't move, like he'll go get me whatever I want. Oh, mm. that's good. I'm a big diaper change. I diaper change yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about I'm that? I'm like a minimal is amount it of <laughs> 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 I'm, so, 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 so. I'm doing as much as I can. Well, I, I, I will say, I'm literally on, doing. I mean, there's probably better dads out there. Well, let me help you out. I, I do think that the, the goal is to be number one dad. Well, diaper for bo- for girls is harder. Is is harder. I'm sorry. That is. You have the easiest diaper. Uh, she just got puked on. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Okay, that's fine. I, that's, well, Do you have a rag in yeah. there? I think so. No. Uh-oh. It's, it's baby poop. But let me, let's go back to this for a second. You just mm-hmm. had to wipe it. The shit can go anywhere. When you got a girl, it's a lot going on down there. Uh, yeah, yeah, And you yeah, got to clean, clean, know. clean, and wipe and yeah, clean, and clean, clean, clean. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. You end up using, like, I think girls, honestly, I'm going to say 60% more wipes than boys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I imagine yeah, I there's it. something... Uh, you probably get peed on more. I'll give you that one. Because you want to get in all the crevices. Yeah, you got to get in the crevices. It's awkward. Like, I'm like, oh, You just, don't want it to sit there. You, you got to do it. Yeah. yeah, you got to do it. And that was the hardest thing for me, like getting over yeah, that. It changed the way I looked at vaginas. Yeah. yeah. Now I even get in the shower now. I'm like, at what point do I... like? I bathe her. I get out. I'm covering my wang. I'm like, I don't look at this. Like, I don't know what to oh, do. Oh, I don't like, cover mine now. No, I just I, walk I, around. Really? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I will That'll say the... Uh, what you saying? Uh, I, I think I told Matt McCusker this, uh, that my sons are the only humans that will ever live that believe I have a giant dong. <laughs> 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 they truly believe it. If you gave them a lie detector and asked them, does your dad have a giant dong? They will say yes. And Would they be arrested? for doing that then? If I set up the <laughs> lie detector and I, was like, I brought your sons in Next here. time you see my sons, ask them. And <laughs> I they, will do it. They will do answer, I have permission answer to truthfully ask? and they believe it in their heart do of hearts I have right to now. Ask? Do I have permission to ask? Ask them, yeah, yeah. Can I film them in like uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. World Star? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <ask them. laughs> I mean, eventually they'll grow out of it because yeah. they'll realize, oh, just like I realized, oh, I, I only think this because I was little Can and my I dad send was them a big. Letter? My dad has a normal Can white dog. Can I send them a letter? Because I think saying it is inappropriate. You can't ask a boy that. But yeah. if I sent them a handwritten letter from TND Media with stationery, would they write me a letter back saying, yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. my father has a big dog? It's the only advantage to having kids yeah. with an uh, average or small dog. Well, you get to <laughs> talk they, about your they dog. Believe I don't get huge. to talk about my dog because I got a girl. Yeah, yeah. I don't get to like go, hey, look at my dog. I got a big dog. Or you got little dogs. I don't get to do any of that. Dogs yeah, yeah. are like, you don't talk about dogs. Oh, yeah. We talk about They talk dogs. about buzz all the time. Buh. Oh, mommy's got a mom's got a hairy buh. Uh Mommy uh, is on her cycle. Yeah, yeah. We're waggling our dogs all the time. Yeah. And, I'm jealous in the van. Really? Oh, yeah, I learned it from Daniel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, that's how Daniel... Yeah, if it's all boys, you can pull your penis out with rat attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or rat attack crazy. Helicopter, shake it like a solid shit, whatever, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. whatever you want. Whatever you want. Well, now yeah. maybe I do want a boy. Now, Tracy, <laughs> he's telling, Tracy, Tracy there's is advantages. Allowed, Tracy now, is allowed to talk about Vuzz. She's allowed to grow big bush. She's allowed to <laughs> uh, talk about periods all the time. Well, that's fine. Periods that's okay. something I don't want to... Yeah, well, <laughs> sorry, but you're see, outnumbered. Now, like, I do um, like miss out on the fact that with a girl... They love their uh, dad. Not true. Uh, <laughs> no, no, but they they, they love their. They, she loves. Me there's a, lot. a type yeah. of love there that my sons have for their mom that they don't yeah, have for me. Okay, you know, say we're rat tatting our dongs around, but uh, you know, mm. we're comp. We're we're just well, fr- we're buddy. just bros. We call each other bros. I want bros. <laughs> I want bros. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're some the, bros uh, hanging out in the house. That there's no, you know, they they don't come snuggle with me. They do uh, with their mom. I do get snuggled. When yeah. men are dying, they 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 call out for their mom, not their dad. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. No. I'm, you know, I'm just a bro to hang out with. Them. Yeah, <laughs> you know, if it's got a dong like they do, that's all, that's all I got. Hey, we're just well, I'm fine with, with dogs. it. Yeah, <laughs> if I did have a daughter, I do. I will miss that part of life. I mean, I could try it. Like, well, hey, you want to be my bro and see my dong? But I think yeah. it's inappropriate. Um, so, when do you start preschool? Um, because nowadays, um, see, now I'm really, I'm thinking about home. I don't know. I'm all about homeschooling. Oh homes. yeah, make weirdos. <laughs> that's a thing now. It's a whole so community now. Homeschoolers. There's so many of them. Now and, yeah, and then you weird. take them to the skating rink and they all skate together like a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, I've seen those. They're like, we're all going, yeah, we're yeah. all going to homeschool Universal Day. And you see them, they're all coming around. They got dad hats on and ponytails and blue mermaid hair. They're all uh, freaks. Yeah. I don't know. I don't you know. you have to make, expose them to the other and animals agree. of society. I agree. So, I yeah, because now they will yeah. be the uh, well, like, weirdo. Like delicately. Maisie's in a fight right now. She's got one friend that keeps touching her face, and I say you got to learn to karate chop. So <laughs> I might be sending her down to okay, see you. Well, please. Uh, yeah, because yeah, she's yeah. got to learn that. And yeah, she's got another kid that punches her. The stomach, and it's important. What the hell? For, it's important for her to be knocked around by some of these other kids. Oh, it's making her yeah, hard. Yeah. A bully does make you tough. You gotta, yeah, yeah, you, you gotta let her eat some Cheetos yeah, yeah. and uh, some Cheeto, McDonald's every once in a while. Once in a while, yeah, but we'll cook our nice, good, organic, oh, yeah, fresh stuff at home. Eating McDonald's. Uh, oh, so oh, chase I can't wait to eat McDonald's. Chick Fil A, like the better ones. That's how it starts. McDonald's. Here we go. Because then she'll be the only kid in class that never has no experience with McDonald's and you're the weirdo. <laughs> this doesn't know what McDonald's is. I think is. I can talk about this, but something happened This because it ties in perfectly. And sorry if I'm not allowed to talk about this. I guess we'll find out. Mm. But in a, a class, let's just say, at, um, at in, the, in Maisie's class, uh-huh. I, there was an episode, there was an issue where a kid brought uh, their parent dropped off Chick Fil A for him, uh-huh. and then they all went to wash up for lunch. And when they came back, it had been stolen. <laughs> oh, really? And somebody in the class had taken the Chick Fil A, and what my theory was, they had taken the Chick Fil A, put it on their pants, uh-huh. and they gone to the bathroom, uh-huh. and sat on the shitter, uh-huh. and ate yeah. the Chick Fil A. Okay, uh, that makes sense. Uh-huh. And I was like. Mm. I told that, and oh, Maisie's so mad because she's a rule follower. <laughs> you know, she can't believe it. But yeah, this happened. It's crime on the. It was crime. Who's that funny looking man? So, um, uh, and she was getting a little more like the past like couple weeks. She was all laughs and she's still laughing and giggling constantly. But then now I notice her personality. She gets a little more f- like frustrated at things. Like she's definitely crying more. Oh, she looks like Tracy right now on the camera. She looks like a little Tracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's also probably a little tired, too. She didn't sleep as long as she usually does. Yeah, she does look a lot more like Tracy and not Seth at all. <laughs> well, that's great because she's a girl. And I hope yeah, she looks she more like Tracy. She's beautiful. But no, if you see pictures of me from a baby, I, there's definitely, right? The pic- there's yeah, a lot of similarities. A well, you're bald. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sorry. Like, Besides that. my ass today. Besides I've been extra that. yeah, yeah, That's really the only thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you take the do rag off. Like, I see it. <laughs> you take the do rag off. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, sorry, when do you yeah. when do you start in karate? That's uh, I know Steph can't wait. Three, yeah. three. Okay. Well, I've heard it'll be way early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as she can walk, I'll teach her. I a love stance. it. I think, dude, She's you're got a fist. You're gonna be the one. You're gonna be the one yeah, to do yeah, it. Yeah. He no. will do. You've wanted this dream with all of your friends. You've always wanted them to breed the champion, right? Well, the baby. Yeah. I, I need the baby some, champion. Some online baby, ninja baby. anomaly. A yeah, ninja yeah. Baby. Like when, when, like yeah, the youngest some... board breaker. Look up youngest all baby right. breaking a board. Okay, that's I've been. Mean, it's probably going to be some got parent dropping their kid on the board. No, no, no. Them. Like there's some kid in Japan that has broken a board at two and a half. And I'll uh, beat it. Let's see. That's what I want. Goal, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've tried to get my buddy the wizard to break the uh, the water skiing world record for yeah. babies. It says, it says and here he, the uh, damn mom it, it says wasn't here involved. Three. But it's it? Three is the youngest. But is there a video? Like way younger than I, three. No, there was no video. Okay. It just said the youngest is three. Okay, well, definitely. Well, two, you, well like, I mean, honestly, I'm thinking about it. I can't think of a two year old bringing a board, right? Doesn't seem like that would be something you would say. It doesn't seem like a feasible phrase. Like, well, this two year old broke a board. Well, I guess once you start walking. Uh, Maybe. No, no. So as soon as she stands up, I can teach her to be like. Do this with her hand, and then just go. <laughs> okay. no, I, no, but I gotta, believe in you. I think you can do it. Look, I had Maisie riding a bike at just at three. Really? She's riding her bike. She started on that Strider bike, and then by four, she was pedaling around, zipping around. Oh yeah, yeah, that bullied me crazy because my sons were like eight and a half. <laughs> <laughs> and eight and a half. I was screaming. I was they like, didn't want to do. I was though. like, Maisie's doing it. She's a girl, but they did twenty twenty four kids. They, They're uh, like girls can do anything. <laughs> I was like, like oh, God. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, all right, let's get out of here. All right. Uh, CarataOrlando.com. Like yeah. hey, we we're Tracy, doing three years. for coming by. Yeah, Vera, thank you for coming by. She can't <laughs> talk, but she's so, oh, she's so precious. Some gold, liquid gold right now. Yeah, it's so good to see you guys. Uh, this is it, the happiest thing I've ever seen. If you want to buy my my Hellcat Red Eye, you can no. just go to my Instagram it's at Silverack Seth. Send me send me a message, and uh, maybe we'll work something out before no. before we uh, do our little. Nope. Fun so why do you want to, him to keep it, Tracy? Because I enjoy driving it. It's for selfish reasons. Oh, okay, oh. Just because it's fun for you. Well, yes. Buy it for your wife. Would you rather have that, or would you rather have something else nicer that we can enjoy? Oh, if it were here, <laughs> what if it were? Would here? you rather have that or the thing that I want? <laughs> <laughs> I do that. I do that a lot. I mean, I still. I do that a lot. Trust me, I want my Hellcat. I love that. It's like you're lighting a flammable liquid. (laughs) This is what I do, too. Like, I'll tell Andrea, I was like, Do you want a new iPhone? And she's like, No. And I was like, Great, because I'll buy my a new iPhone (laughs) and give you my old iPhone. (laughs) Right? That's the way you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Later down the road, I could always get something. I don't know. We, what do you want? Get, uh, a, get a, what about yeah. like a Lamborghini SUV? That's, that's what I was like. <laughs> My <laughs> dream is that the Urus? For sure. Urus? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, later down the road, I mean, uh, who knows? Uh, you yeah. know, she's going to be more expensive. We want yeah. more stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. and with, your health, problems, with <laughs> your health problems. <laughs> well, and you have the same health problems as Jelly Roll. So. I, I have learned I that. I got a good life insurance policy. I think we talked about it. I made Tracy get the good life insurance policy, too, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> that's a waste of money, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, life insurance. You guys are the healthiest fine. person I know. Anyway, all right. Guys, thank you so much for listening. We certainly do appreciate it. BDMs, we will see you tomorrow. Yeah. We're looking forward to seeing you. Uh, can people still sign up, right? You can still If you sign up last minute uh, and let us know, check we'll, your account. Whatever. We'll send you the information of the party. For sure. So, for sure. Uh, uh, we hope to see some BDMs uh, tomorrow. TomandDan.com slash registration to check your uh, memberships and everything. Uh, hold on, let me get a last, let me get a parting shot because this is so sweet. Oh my god, hold on, let me get the real one. Hold on, I'm on the wrong camera here. Is this one even working? It's not working. Hold on, I can do it. There. <laughs> oh. Say bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> oh, I'll give back to mom. <laughs> And on that note, guys, thank you so much for listening. We will see you tomorrow. Well, wait a minute. I, I can't publish that. It's uh, mediocre. I, I am so fucking tired of doing podcasts. It's, I, I, I'm literally done with them. I'm not doing any more podcasts.